Get off of me. Oh, Jesus. Wow, I was mashing click and it just did nothing. Okay, well. Well, that was a waste of everything. Is it actually meant to be click or are you just meant to hold? Hmm. Well, I'll need to check that. Yikes. Well, maybe I should have just run. Should have just run. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf woke up today and decided to have none of your business for breakfast. As a setting, it's either click or hold. It felt like, well, it's hard to tell actually. That's the first thing I'm going to check then. Was it click or was it hold? Oh, hey, I'm back in Ash Canyon, my favorite. Also, escape is doing nothing. There we go. Um, press and hold on struggle. Okay, so I should have just held. Quick tapping allows for optimization in the struggle outcome. Is that so? Is that so? All right. Then we're going to go with quick tapping. <laughs> Crickne knows. Well, that was a quick and horrible end. And now we're back in Ash Canyon, and I don't like Ash Canyon. There's clearly a lot, a lot of goodies to be had here, but I don't know my way around here whatsoever. Even if I come across somewhere that I was at before, I'm not going to recognize it. Mind you, there was birch there. Surely there would be more than one bit of birch just lying around. Birch is great, it restores condition. But if there is more, I cannot see it. Dang, I really wanted more of that. Feeling of absolutely nothing. Oh, sure, getting cold. Feels like minus thirty-one, so we're going hypothermic already, and that's certainly going to build up faster than it did in Muskeg. This is more hopeless than watching fish slips play sunder. Cold, I'm warming up a bit. Is the Angler Den still guaranteed on matches? I wouldn't know. Are your options to pray for match or die? Pretty much. I can't think of a way that you could survive without a set of matches early. Or some other form of ignition. Because it's just, it's always colder than you're going to be able to survive. Especially since you don't have good clothes when you start. So I guess what you do is you learn where the matches are, but I have no clue where the matches are. That's quite risk already in the hand. Well, at least there's a fair few sticks to be had, but... Wow, lots of bits of birch bark. Should be good for, on, for restoring condition if I can just get some ignition going. Tons of birch bark. Oh, I like this. <laughs> See, Ash Canyon seems like a really good place to get the natural stuff. Same with Timberwolf. But early on, I'd far rather have some manufactured goods from places like Pleasant Valley. Oh, even more birch bark. What a, what a heaven sent place. Even so, though, there's a whole lot of nothing here. Oh, that pupper death was bothersome, though. If I just clicked and held, it would have smacked him off of me, but I was mashing. 
I mean, it looked like the kind of thing you have to mash for. Uh, is going down there suicide? I can't tell, but down we go regardless. Hang on, that rope. Didn't I come down here? Yeah, I did come down here. Then I might know where I am. At least in the sense of I died here. I'm gonna grab these rose hips and hope that we someday find some matches. Now we can make ourselves a lovely cup of tea to warm up. Till then, though, frostbite risk as well as uh, hypothermia is creeping its way up. Well, it's more than just creeping. Was this a dead end or not? Looks pretty dead and endy. Shame I can't find my old corpse here. Be a nice way to breathe some life back into the runs. Right, so that's where I descended to after finding out that it was a, a one-way route out of the coal mine over there. And we were on the wrong side of it. So, and it wasn't a coal mine, it was a gold mine. And I think if I just hold the left here, I might find the entrance to the gold mine. That's the hope, at least. What was that? Probably that deer. That friendly wee deer. Uh, okay, well I can't climb up that. Our dainty little Canadian legs can't make it up. Okay, I feel like I'm doubling back on myself, which always feels like a wasted effort. It's a self-defense mechanism, Pandy. You know, I really have no idea which direction I came from, because I have no real sense of direction. So I just hope I'm not doubling back on myself, and I'm hoping that there's... Maybe there's the gold mine over here. Gold mine sounds like it would surely have loads of goodies for me. Running does not increase your heat, no. And that makes sense, because you'd just be sweating more, actually causing you to lose more heat, surely. So says my astounding logic. Boy, I could go for some anything game, come on! Well, at least I got plenty of sticks to burn. Assuming I can find a place to make use of them, but I am almost frostbitten already. And we haven't found anything remotely warm, although, hey, we do like birch bark. Was this where the angler was? I don't know. Maybe. Certainly where some dogs are, but I might just have to chance it because I got nowhere else to go. Oh well, there's dogs right there. And I think they know that I'm here. Yeah, I remember running up and back there. Was there good stuff or bad? I'm trying to remember now. I'm pretty sure the angler's cabin is over here, though. If I can just get to it before frostbite hits, I might be okay. And that's also assuming that I get there before these dogs get me. Were there any goodies next to that? I do not have time to inquire. I just have to hope that I'm going the right way to it to get to the angler. Get inside, warm up, rest up. Don't do that. I really should keep that holstered. Angler, angler, angler. I hope he's over this way, because that frostbite's just about to hit.
Hey, look at that. Right, we're in with a chance. And we kind of know the way, maybe, to the... It's locked. There's nothing else there. Get away from the stick, Lassie. Get in. Right, we need matches on double. Where were the matches? Where were the matches? Crisps, books. Ooh, a took. Putting that on straight away, and that's enough to warm me up. A little bit. And there's still a good bit of daytime. I really do hope there are those matches in here, though. I don't know if frostbite risk is growing or not. Mm. Okay. Break around under the bed as well, find nothing. Ooh, now that wood's nice. Cooking pot is also nice. Coal is very, very nice. There you are. I'm wondering if it's even worth lighting this place up, because it's already warm enough. I could just go to sleep. Like, spend some time tearing stuff apart, warming up a bit, and then go to sleep. And then, when I'm getting ready to leave, then I could start a fire. Oh no, it's more than a single match. It's a box of matches, thank goodness. Yeah, it might be better just to make some rose hips. Can I do that from inside the bed, though? That'd be nice. Perhaps not, though. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Arrowheads, but I don't really see the use of those right now. What? Did I find any food? Oh, no, no, I didn't actually get any cattails. Are there cattails out there, though? It might be a good idea just to... Hmm. Not entirely sure, but I think I should go to bed for a bit. Looks like a good base. It certainly does. I'm just trying to think what to do with what we have here. I'm tempted to mash this stuff apart just to get some wood. And I would need that for tinder anyway, wouldn't I? And a nice long sleep is always good. So how about we... Break some stuff up here. Oh god, it's only barely warm, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, we need water and torches anyway, but I'm not thrilled at the idea of wasting... Well, you know what, why don't we just start breaking things down so I actually have some wood to play with. Check and make sure that hypothermia is maybe somewhat going down. It's not just a match, it's the wood to keep it going. Also, I swear we can hear it's windy outside. And it might be more than one match. It's only 80% chance of victory. Alright, stack of papers. Burn this book. Why do people keep getting on my case about the charcoal? Come on, little fire. Hey, it worked. Nice. Right. Take some of this, uh, this firewood. And we're going to cook ourselves up a whole heap of water. Tons of the stuff. That'll be a good couple of hours. But it warms up the place, gives me a chance to tear more of the place apart for wood. Probably a good idea, despite the calorific cost. And then when we warmed up, when we got some... I'll tell you what I really want. I really want my, um... I got my rose hips and things. Shall I reclaim wood so that lasts a little longer? Gonna make all this birch bark. Birch bark's good. Wow, we still have fairly high frostbite risk. Is there something on top of one of the coat hangers? 
doesn't look like it. This is another coat hanger going on here. 27 minutes to tear up a cardboard box into tinder? What are you on? Still melting away. Sneakers are drying off nicely all around my feet. And once that is ready to go, it'd be nice to go and get myself what I need out there. Well, I should maybe I should get on that right now. Nah, warm up more. More warm, more good. Still needs a bit, so take that wood I just tore up. This is actually good that I can get my exploring done today and when I get really tired, I can just go and uh, sleep up. As long as I keep carrying torches and stuff with me. I'd love to make myself that birchwood tea though. So I'll need a bit more than this time, plus all the torches I plan on taking. So I'm just going to burn these books, I think. There we go, books burn surprisingly well. Since we still have a wee bit of new, I'm going to tear this apart as well, just for a bit more wood. Boiled in half an hour. Oh, well that's not a good sound out there. 45 minutes to tear that, um, tear that apart, but only 15 minutes to tear you apart. There we go, the frostbite risk is just going down and down, which is nice. Leave the fire running, or if it's better just to use a match for a torch later on. Probably the latter. I mean, it seems like a bad idea to go out in that storm anyway, but it would be nice to get some anything, because there's not a lot I can do with this situation apart from cook more things. Teas and that. Couldn't hurt to pop my nose out a little bit, surely, because I'm going to be sleeping here later. And I don't want to sleep now when it's uh, the good time of the day. Oh, good time of day. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm thinking about those cattails. I would love to have those cattails. Right, I want my birch bark. It's only ten minutes to make that. Without much else to do, I think I'll just wait until it's ready, take it, cook more birch bark, wait until it's ready, take it, cook my rose, oh, cook even more birch bark. How much of this stuff do I have? Should we be cooking more of it for this time? Wow, just how much of this stuff do I have? Made a bit of a breakthrough. Well, I wouldn't call it a breakthrough just yet. We've survived the first night before. We're fortunate where we stumbled into here. I think I'm just going to throw that on and turn it into torches. And then we'll let the fire run out and we'll go and explore until we get freezing cold. Including our cup of uh, rose hips, I think. And then we'll be coming back. Chug that water. Wow, I really did not make a lot of water, did I? I should make more water. In fact, I should um, leave enough leave enough fuel so that I can cook uh, a whole lot of water while I'm away. So if I if I make two litres of water, I think it needs about two hours to, to go for it, so... I want to use the coal, that's really good for temperature. I'll just use a load of sticks. And I definitely want to take torches for a bit. Because although I can't use them now, you can instantly light a torch with one match and no failure chance as long as it's not windy. But starting a fire, that's a different story entirely. Well, that's a good torch. Oh, 
Nice to see the frostbite risk go away as well. So hard not to say frostpunk risk. Right, put that away. Mm, that should be good enough to keep that stuff boiled. So we're just going to go out and hope for the best. At risk of Frostpunk 2 actually coming out, who would have thought? Oh jeez, this is Grimbo. Right, I can't open that. We just need to quickly find some goods if we can. It feels like... only feels like minus 16, Jinx. What's the complaints? Well, the complaint would be if I ran into a dog here. Tinder and food. Tinder and food. Tinder and food. Gotta be careful not to lose my way. Because I'm very good at losing my way. Oh yeah, it feels like minus 42 when I'm not shielded from the wind. That's funny. But come on, it's just a little bit. Keep that tinder and food flowing in. Run right into it. Mm, man, I bet that stuff just cuts. Uh, where was it? Where the heck was it? There it is. Ah. Why do you think spray paint would help? I just don't get it. Well, when I'm running around and all that uh, stuff out there, I'm going to notice spray paint. And I'm also going to manage the time to sit down and do the spray painting. You can see spray paint on the map. Great. But I don't have a map. And I don't think I know my location either. Right, well, the chair would take 45 minutes to tear apart. I think that's worth my time, because I do need to pass time one way or another. And hey, I'm relatively nice and warm now, too, so I could always chance it back out there in the... Um... Oh, nice, that'll boil, and then the what the fire will stop enough to... Um, to not boil it to death. That's good. We're getting a bit tired, but we're not over-encumbered. I guess this time we're going to check the other oh, direction. Starving. Quit complaining about food. Instead, run out, grab sticks, grab all of nature's bounty. Nature's not feeling very bountiful here. I've already lost my direction. That's how bad I am at this. That's where. Look at that tree. That tree is good. Oh, this feels like suicide. Not worth it. I just can't see far enough to um, make this worth my while. Ah. Lovely warm safety back here. Still did fa pass a fair bit of time, so at least we'll be able to sleep and gain probably all of our condition back, as long as we keep ourselves fed for it. down while you can. Do you dress with the expectation of crashing when flying? No, I dress with the expectation of having to get out of the aircraft at some point. It's bloody freezing outside, I'll dress for said weather. Yeah, well, it's like driving. You should bring some gear with you just in case. I imagine. Right, well, I'm glad it's lovely and warm in here, because it sure as sugar is not out there. Take that water. There's nothing really to cook. 
I guess I just take my final torch and we're hunkering down here for a while. Uh, if, I if I put in one more stick, I should be able to take out one more torch. Oh, it was a crappy torch. Oh well. Now, is there anything we can do to pass the time? Tear apart some cardboard boxes, but I really don't want to. Doesn't net me anything of use. So much stuff you can break down. I imagine in super late game you just go around tearing apart everything. Do you have a book to read? No, I reckon not. We have very little anything. Well, I mean, I've got this. A f shooting guide, but that's a waste of time because there are no firearms. Unless the flare gun benefits from that skill. But I have my doubts about that. Well, nothing for it. I guess we just got to sleep. Stay ultra hydrated. And get in there and restore some sweet condition. Just sleep for as long as you can. Yeah, I certainly burnt all those books. Oh, I forgot how dark it gets at this time. Let's keep on drinking, because drinking is good. I need anything right about now. Tempted to warm up some tea just so I can get moving for longer. But I should look at what it's like outside first. Oh, it's nice and clean and clear, so I will start a fire indoors and heat up some tea and get moving. So that means I'm going to first take out the torch, light the torch, use the torch to... Oh, oh, I see, I see. We will take the charcoal. Uh, we'll start the fire using a stick because it's better chance of working. And then I need to remember which direction to come out of here. It was up and around the back of the waterfall, as I recall. And there were some good things along on, the way. Fire. Maybe the venison is still there to chow down on. Plenty of, well, a wee bit of coal, at least. So yeah, we might be able to make some progress here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's the stuff, isn't it? Right, throw on just a little bit of that. Extinguish you for now. Cook up some birch bark tree. No, that's a bit of a waste. Couldn't we cook something else instead? Cook up the uh, the rosehip tea. And I suppose the... Oh, hell, why don't we just heat them all up, right? They're all going to get warm from here, right? Yeah, they're all warm in a few minutes. While they're doing that, I suppose I could chew down more cattail stalks. Incredibly rare that a catch take live, says Rita. I like the name Rita. Um, playing one of my all-time favorite games, no less. So well, if it's all-time favorite, maybe you can offer some much-needed advice, because i got to say, Interloper is kicking my keister. All right, so... Hmm, some of these are readying up much faster than others. Maybe they need to be a little closer. Well, look, some of them are burning as is, so let's just grab it all, light up this incredibly crappy torch, and we gotta go for it. I'm gonna go up and around the back of that waterfall and grab everything I can along the way, and this time we're not going to take the legendary Bavarian's advice to... No, I said I'd stop going on about that. We're not going to climb down those ropes into oblivion. Although, what if it's truly one way, the way that you go in and around the mine? In that case, getting out of the mine looks like hell. Hopefully you can double back the kind of the way you came into the mine then. Feels good having such high condition. Feels unusual such ha having such high condition. Even on the second day. Hell, especially on the second day. Eyes peeled for any goodies we can... Is that birch bark? No, it's just... I shouldn't turn around so suddenly I lose my um, my sense of direction so easily. Maybe I shouldn't be making so much fun of people that can't tell left from right. But you know what, I'm fairly confident that I could manage the Da Vinci poses. 
I swear I saw something like a can of soup around here. Yeah, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Up we go. Try not to sprain ourselves coming up here because we don't have bandages, I think. Good. I really don't like how fragile your limbs are in this game. Just climbing up that and you break your arms and legs. Right, I'm already incredibly cold, so I'm going to drink that rosehip tea. Ah, warming up from the inside. I feel like I'm moving awfully slowly. No backpack here this time. Mm. Alright, that's Daisy. Jake, do you prefer hot or cold weather? I like them both. But I suppose I'd rather be too cold than too hot. If I'm afforded a choice. Come on. Hmm? No, I didn't. I didn't notice anything about fighting wolves. Oh, right. Interlopers, brutal starvation strats, clothing, animal fighting, cheese strats. Ugh. Well, I don't like the whole build a fire and lob torches at them. It just feels ridiculous. But the animal fights in this game just feel ridiculous anyway. Can't wait to have a bow and just shoot them dead so I don't have to do that kind of weird dance with them. Oh, hang on. I don't remember which way I went here before. Did I go towards the water or did I go... Well, I doubt I went back the way I came. That would make negative sense. Are those wolves or not wolves? Oh, they look like bunnies. They're too small to be wolves. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm more at the initial trying to survive stage, not the point of trying to think how best to get... Oh, that is wolf! <laughs> okay. Uh, but is that even the way I want, I'm wanting to go right now? Ah, cripes. Here we go again. Here we go again. Right, well... You want some of this sunshine? Okay, they seem to just leave me be while I start a fire. And at least all this costs me is a little bit of being freezing cold time. And then I go, yeah. Hey, you want more of this? Yeah. Oh yeah, damn right you're scared. Oh jeez, get away from me, dogs. How am I even meant to deal with these guys? I wanted to get up and around here. Yeah, but I'm, I'm starting to get a little too hypothermic for my own good here. Right, I'll just need to see if I can get past them with this. Fear me, I have fire. Fear me, coward. I'm going the right way here. I have no idea, right? Even though I came this way before... I have completely... Oi! I have completely forgotten how this goes. Maybe it's not what I remember it to be. Yeah, 
Yeah, show no fear, make yourself look as big as possible. And they will all cower away, I'm sure. Oh, ooh, this could be a little tricky for us. Don't break your limbs. There we go. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Jesus, it's so hard when you have no idea where anything is. Oh, 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 a cave. Ah, one of these caves. I'll take it. Oh, okay, this does look familiar a bit. Um, right, so, as I'm sure we now know, I want to take off all my clothes. And then I want to nyeh you down, and then I just want to pick you up, walk through the incredible cold, place this down on the ground somewhere. Somewhere good. Are any of these places valid? That kind of was. And then take our torch back. Put our. Oh, I forgot the freaking trousers again. You don't even see them there. It blends into everything on the back so much. And, uh. That, we're actually okay aside from the trousers problem. We'll just keep wearing them. Not a problem, surely. Now, is there anything worth our time around here? Get out of jail free card. How about actually keeping a light when we're in here? I'm glad it's warm enough in here. Probably all thanks to that toque. But it feels like two degrees in here. Coal is nice. Very flammable wood is extra nice. You've got mittens, Jake. No, you're thinking of a hey, uh, previous run that didn't happen. Alright, well, I guess nowhere to go but up. There? Probably not. Certainly don't miss the squelching noise of my denim jeans, though. Now, should be a good source of meat over here, but the question is can I keep the fire going long enough to really take advantage of it, and is it worth it as well? Probably is. Good way to heat up, if nothing else. Although, don't get too tired. We need to climb a rope here as well. Hypothermic risk gone, frostbite risk hopefully soon to go as well. I'm also not sure if the food always spawns, or the corpse rather. There's a lot I don't know about how spawning works in this game. <laughs> There's so much that I don't know about this game. But that kind of makes it feel like such an adventure. Learn a little bit more each time. Die every time. Survival's the exception. Extinction's the rule. Something like that. Crisps is a bit rubbish. Coal is not. There is not a corpse here this time. Well, not the kind of corpse I was expecting. I think I can use 100% condition torch is nice, though. Corpse has nothing on him, especially not any long pig or um, clothes that I can thaw off the body. Is that really it, though? Feels a bit lackluster, but what can you do? Up and at him. Or like barely warming up in here. It's probably a good idea to start a fire, if nothing else, to get my teas re uh, ready for when I emerge. As far as I'm aware, there's no cannibalism in this game. A missed opportunity, really. The 
Hello, are you a corpse? A wolf corpse. Now that's risky, because wolf meat... Oh, there's not a lot of wolf meat, but... Um, do I want the hide? I don't want the guts. It's a little too early for that. And there's a huge chance I get stomach par... Well, I'm not sure how huge a chance, but there's a chance I get parasites from eating wolf meat. It's hard to say if it's worth it, but since I want a fire here anyway, I think I will... Uh, I think I'll do it. And do it for revenge. Parasites are a game ender. What are the odds of getting parasites off Come the on. meat? Come on. And also, what's the effect of parasites? Yeah, even if it's cooked. I remember reading this on the wiki. 1% chance. Hey, I like those odds. Let's get ourselves that. Although, let's take the opportunity to cook ourselves a whole lot of water. Because I know we're going to be here for a while at least. Let's do a liter. And let's do a recycled can with more. Mm. I'm going to want to cook that meat, actually. So how about... Instead of that... I wish there was a way to not take this crappy water. Just ditch, ditch all that water. I didn't want it. Um, right, yes. Let's take this meat. And then we're going to cook up that slab of gamey wolf meat. 33 minutes until it's ready. So that gives me plenty of time to harvest this hide. Oh, I should have eaten first. Well, there goes my chance of getting well fed. Alright, yum yum yum. Let's take our chance. Well, there we go. Yum yum yum. Did someone say 1%? So, I've never seen parasites before. Avoid eating more meat from carnivores. Alright, well, we'll find out. Oh, it's only risk. Ah, okay. Uh, I forgot to take off my trousers and dry them. Go dry, please, trousers. We should probably still stay here for a little longer, so I'm going to shove on the reclaimed wood. Oh, right, that's boiling dry. In that case, let's make some more water. It's 1% per unit of meat that you eat. Ah, I see, I see. So it really is a desperation thing to eat. Like a quarter of the carcass, but now nah, forget that. I'm probably a little low on torches right now. Yeah, I'm gonna harvest you for another stick. going to heat up my tea once we have the next bit of water ready. However, I'm going to need a bit more time with the fire. This isn't too bad to be in here because it's night time anyway. So let's have this reclaimed wood. Yeah, reclaimed wood to keep us going. The jeans dry out. I will want to warm up my tea, but I'll leave that a little later so we don't... Mm. No, once the snow is ready, once the snow is ready to go, I'm ready to go. Is there anything we can do until then? Seems like a whole lot of. Oh yes, yeah, we found some rose hips. Always have time for rose hips. I'm starving. Stop complaining about the food. He just had some delicious wolf. Let's go and cook us up those rose hips. Thirteen minutes until you're ready. Twenty twenty odd minutes till you're done. Then I'm going to draw all my teas. Let them warm up. This is really cheesy. Like you have two cooking slots, but you can still warm things up next to the fire like this. It just feels like it's not intended in a way. Oh, whatever. There we go. Twenty three minutes until that's good to go, and I'll want some more torches on our way out. Let's just move this way to the back so I don't even notice it or not. It really throws me that it's right click to pick up but left click to drop down. Oh, 
oldie granola bar. I don't want to chance that. I'll eat cattails instead. Actually, why even eat? I should be going for starving rather than well-fed at this point. Anything else worth our time to do right now? Mm, doesn't look like it. Fourteen minutes until you're good. You're going to burn if I leave you like that. Those still have a while to burn. You're not even ready. It would be weirder if you couldn't warm up food by setting it near fire, maybe, but it just mechanically doesn't feel like this is an intended way to handle the situation. Drink a bunch of water, but not tons, because the tea will help us out with that shortly. And now I'm going to add probably one last bit of reclaimed wood. Maybe two, because I don't want quite a lot of torches. But maybe I carry too many torches. Yeah, maybe, but at the same time, if those wolves are after me, sure get real rough real fast. I think it's, yeah, it's quite a while before any of these burn, so not feeling the rush here. You can never have enough torches. Well, I'm not getting the super torches that I got before this time. That is a shame. Oh no, that's a, that's a nice torch. Right, take that, take it, take, 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 and wear. And let's go. Once we're back out in the fridging cold, we'll be sure to chug some tea. Once our warmth goes down a fair bit, and otherwise we're going to hope that we can make some headway to, to something. I don't really know what. I don't have any sense of direction for when we come out of this. I think we climb along a lot of those rope ladders for a bit when we come out of here. And then at some point, I think I took a right climbing up some um, some weird, well, climbing parts, when what I should have done was, well, not do that. You can put raw meat onto a cooking pot and cook it much faster. Ooh, now that I didn't know. That's valuable info, thank you. Managing time is important. At least there shouldn't be any wolves up here. Yeesh. Well, if anybody loved those rickety bridges before, we're going to get to them again. Now there is that. Is there anything over here? This looks awfully suspiciously open. Hey Jake, why don't you use the spoiler-free maps? Because it still doesn't show me where I am in the game. And I'm still sorely tempted to... Hey, maybe I... Right now. Maybe this is the way to go across. God, I have no idea. What do you mean by spoiler-free maps, anyway? What would really help me is just a blank map of the area that showed where I am. Possibly with exit points. Oh, this is not where I'm meant to be going, is it? No, it seems really, really wrong. However, nice bit of firewood. And what's over here? Could it be a corpse? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I know the kind of beast that leaves those kinds of corpses. Back away, not today. Do you not record your sights with charcoal? I seldom have the time to spare to just sit down and jot out a map. I'm too busy trying to desperately live. Right, well, I'm already going crawling to my birch bark tea. Quit pinging, Jane. Well, going down there was a big fat waste of time. Let's get ourselves across here. Relight and keep going. I saw that, um, I saw that rope. I don't want to carry rope because I don't know where to use it. And it weighs a freaking ton. That stuff weighs five kilos. 
And that is not something I can justify carrying around with me. At least worth it to mark the locations you use in the map, even if you don't mark the rest. Yeah, but I'm not so convinced. I'm barely surviving as it is. Maybe if I get myself at least remotely established, it'll feel more worth the time to start jotting maps down. Also, how long does it take? People have said it's 10 minutes, but I feel like it's longer. Also, this is pretty bad. This wind is going to weak out my flame. But I shouldn't need flame to keep me safe from predators, at least. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Is that a snow pit? Ooh, how nice and warm would we be in here? Why is the use button not the use button? Oh, we're still cold. Also, our our thing goes out. Well, that's a shame. Also, I hope that's our track and not bear tracks. Oh yeah, I remember being there, setting a fire, and then it was really a terrible idea. Right. Sadly, I'm drinking more birch bark tree. A huge waste of the healing properties of birch bark tree. But I want to keep myself warm for as long as possible, and it barely did anything to keep me warm. I wonder if, um, if as your tea cools down, it heals you up less. Hmm. Perhaps I should have considered that. Right, have no fear, just run right along. And yes, this thing is moving under my feet. Whee, don't look down. Ah, yeah, look down. I like the idea of somebody watching that. And hello! Wood match is just sitting in the middle of nowhere. I would not have expected that. No, 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 Jake. You really need the rope. You can't access certain very, very nice locations without the rope. Okay, I don't think you're getting it, right? I'm more focused on trying to survive, not getting super sweet loot. Once, uh, once I've sussed out basic survival, then I can figure that out. Whereas holding on to that, I'm certain, would inhibit survival. By making me slow down so much. And again, I don't know where to use it, so it wouldn't help me in any way. I think uh, some people, when they know a game really well... They don't really appreciate what it's like to not know the game at all. I think this is the point where... Yeah, no... Hmm, okay, no, it's not where I thought it was. However, I will take some more rose hips. Uh, how cold is it? Uh, I could light a fire here to warm up, and I think I will. I'm free from the... Um, I'm free from the wind, and I think a little bit of coal, and uh, oh crap, I should have lit my torch first. The point is, he's trying to make, is you absolutely need that loot in order to survive. Is that so? Let's see about that. Right, I wasted a match there. What a shame. I should have lit this first, and then lit this. On the plus side, we know where that uh, rope is, so if we really want to get this super loot, then there it is. Lucky day. Well, lucky day indeed, except this is doing nothing for us unless we actually shove on probably some coal, and maybe a few sticks just to get that stuff rolling, and then if we could kindly just cook up this rosehip tea, that'll give us some heat. Come on, warm up. Put coal on you for a reason. Can I just drink this tomato soup? Why not? Tin opener for it will help me get more calories out of it, but I don't really need an extra tin at this point. Hey, I'm just barely warming up. Great. Keep that frostbite away, keep that condition loss away, big time. Come on, come on. Show me the warmth. It 
It's unlikely, Rita. I mean, I just don't know where I'm going in this, but I kind of enjoy the experience a wee bit. Although I still really wish I had a map, and I may really look into using that map. Today I will stubbornly stick to not having it. Well. Chat out a little bit. Actually, I should be doing that. If I get a good long sleep, then I don't have a lot of calories for it. Actually, I don't think those dog that dog food would have a chance of making me sick. Oh wow, that did very little for warming me up. Anything I can make while I'm here? Can I just kind of put you there to keep you warm? Might be better if I just keep it on me and take the opportunity to prepare some rose hips. Do this while we're nice and warm. Hypothermia risk has gone away, which is nice. I don't like that risk of internal parasites, though. It's so... so scary looking. Three litres of water should be good for now. I'd love to warm up more, but I'm just barely warming up here. I don't want to throw a whole lot more onto this. But we'll take the opportunity while we can to do what exactly? I can harvest sticks, always. Still so cold. Barely warming up from this thing. Uh, well, at least it's something. I'm going to make sure that my cups of tea, rose hip, and birch bark. I feel so bad wasting this birch bark, but it's not wasted if it helps keep me alive. And how are we on torches? Not unreasonable. Bet we're still going to cannibalize this thing into torches and then head on off with these. At least this staved off that horrible condition loss from uh, hypothermia. Oh yeah, finding a bed is going to be a whole lot of not fun. Where the heck are the beds out here? We found one in the angler place, and hey, that was a good early find, but we need more. Always need more. Right, take the torch, take the tea, take the other tea, and then off we trot. Don't ever feel bad wasting birch bark. Birch bark is one of the few things that respawns reasonably frequently. Oh, goody, goody. I hope that wind isn't strong enough to blow this torch out. But the wind chill is pretty savage. Oh, well, if warming up has already expired, then I think we're going to drink that rosehip tea. And now we just took it off the fire. Let's see how much heat it restores. Lots. I really think that the amount of heat it restores depends on how recently it was warmed up. But I think the main benefit you get from that is that warming up bonus. Now, I don't actually know what it does. It would stand to reason that it makes you cool down slower in the biting cold, but... I don't have any numbers on that. Oh, we've got stamina. Let's leg it. Ooh, 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 no fall there. Left or right, left or right, left. How about tiny right... You think it's right there at the bridge, Marvin? You think it's right here? Does this even go anywhere? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, I just don't know. Although this firewood is a nice find. I'm not so sure about heading along there. Screw it, I'm going to look at my map here. So we just crossed two of those rickety old bridges. Turning right took us into a shallow cave. Turning left. As long as we don't turn right at the overlook. And then I think we'll be... Hang on, is that even right? I'm not even sure if that's what I what I need to be doing. Ooh, geez, even looking at this map, I'm not sure what to make of it. I could ignore the gold mine altogether, but it would be nice to actually see what it's like.
And then I get out, hopefully, with all my fat loot, and then we're good to go, right? You know what? Good point. Jake needs meat much more than he needs to worry about unwelcome passengers inside. Do we really need meat, though? I feel like I do. Right, so here's the big question. Do I climb up this thing or not? Like, if I don't, we go along here. I'll have some sticks for my trouble, if nothing else. And some more rose hips are always nice. The, the map that I'm looking at is really hard to understand. Maybe I should actually just pause and look at it. And maybe even bring it on screen so you can tell what I'm looking at. Right, so, 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 so. Can we get this map on here, pretty please? Ash Canyon map, long dark. Whoa, it's big. Let's shrink you right down. Although, on the other hand, we can actually narrow it down to the point where I'm looking at. And then make it big. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. So I'm looking at that wolf jaw overlook. And the red arrow leading up from it will take me along to some cavey bit, some stuff there, follow it around, kind of open area, and then I really can't tell what one does from there. Hmm. It takes you the long way that you did last time. Yeah, but if I don't go that way, then I don't really see a way to get to the mine. Because, yeah, we can see the one-way entrance there. And that was a hell of a long way in. You already missed your way to the mine. Is that so? I don't see a way down, although maybe there is a way down. Do you see that blue arrow that leads top... Here we go. See that blue arrow that leads top right? That kind of indicates that there's a one-way route over to the mining camp from there. I have no idea. The grey rope means you need a rope to cry, climb. You can't get to the mine without one. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, so no mine for me. In that case, I should consider getting the heck out of here. Um, and there looks like there's a whole lot of no... Um, well, nothing for me to take cover in. Well, there's a cave, but I don't have a ton of things to burn. So I should take that left bit, get out. There's a bed inside a cave if I wrap immediately left. Jesus, what a horrible place to be, especially when you know nothing. Hmm. You can ease your way down to the mine without a rope and then come out the back. Yeah, but coming out the back puts me in a very horrible situation where I have to climb up loads of ropes. And we're not good with climbing up loads of ropes. I mean, climbing ropes is just... You can be fully rested at the bottom and then need an eight-hour sleep at the top. I think I'm going to come out and round and... Well, what the hell? If it kills us, it kills us. Let's go for it. Keep the ruined torch, though. I don't want to be an Ash Canyon or Timberwolf. I want to be somewhere that has civilization. Uh, wait, can I really come down from here? It looked like I could on the map. This sure doesn't look like it. Oh, this might be a mistake. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. This looks very bad. Oh well, might might get something out of this. God, you're freezing. Yeah, the snow can soften the impact, but it's still going to be quite the impact. All right, have faith. I've done this in plenty of video games before. I'm sure, something's going to go snap here. My dainty little Canadian uh, limbs can barely handle this. I'm about to lose my torch here, but maybe it's better to maintain my balance rather than lose a match. Maybe I can do both. Ah. 
Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, it's ruined. Okay, well, I mean, it's not doing me much anyway. You can eat anything. Whoa, we, we ain't done with the climbing down here. I have a feeling this isn't getting me anywhere that I want to be. I don't know if I want to be up or down to get out of this place. That sure looks horrifically inhospitable to me. Could you try and use your charcoal up there? I mean, I guess I could. Uh, charcoal survey. Oh jeez, look at my look at my condition. Oh god, I got frostbite up here. Okay, right. So I don't know how long I spent doing that, but painfully long. That didn't feel like ten minutes of game time to me. And that's why I'm not surveying local areas. So, so many evil people here today. They want me to just keep dying. Oh, cripes. Oh, coming down here is getting pretty painful. I don't think I have any painkillers or good meds for that. No, I've just got my good old birch bark tree. I forget which of the T's have uh, pain remedies. Damn, it was such a good run, says Fox Tattoo. Yeah, I think I'm... I don't think I can hack uh, Ash Canyon so early. I don't know where things are, and I don't know how to deal with not knowing where things are. Good thing I'm part mountain goat. Doing all this with God knows how many sprained limbs must be rough as well. You should zigzag when walking like this. Forget the first aid, you've got there's <laughs> no shortage of problems that you have. I will refrain from trying I thought you knew this game, Pepper. Sounded like it. You kept going on about the charcoal as if you knew something. Right, where do we go now, left or right? Well, when given that choice, I'll never go right. But now we're in some real trouble. I can't run, I'm getting tired, I'm freezing cold, and I'm even getting hungry. I know a bit, but it seems like overall it's worth diddly. <laughs> There are crampons in the game. Reduce the risk when climbing down steep slopes. Okay, well, I certainly don't have them. Yeah, well, it also seems to be pretty useless. Like, what can we do with this? We don't know where we are. That's my problem with that uh, map. If I don't know my location, it doesn't really do much for me. Come on, Shepard. You're made of sterner stuff than this. Oh yeah, hypothermia risk is already one third up. All right. Yeah, I'm as lost as lost can be now. So we just have to hope that there's something that's going to save my bacon if we follow this route here. Maybe next time we go hunting for animal pelts in the angler cabin. I don't have a sewing kit, so I wouldn't be able to do anything with them. Oh, and this is so much more forgiving on the dark walker, because you get such good uh, good loot. That works a bit. It is really cool that, you know, you can be up there and then back down here. Don't get me wrong, this game's kicking my ass, but I really like the game. Maybe not specifically the ass kicking, but I want to get good enough that it doesn't kick my keister so hard. If you're wondering about the blurred vision, that's because we're injured. Could really do with a cave to sit down and get my nosh on, as well as warm up a bit. Mm. 
Damn it, help me. How are these guys even surviving? The Bambi's out here. Could be a cave to your left. I think that's a cave up there. Would be good to warm up a bit. I'm rapidly losing condition out here. Yeah, they don't freeze in five minutes. <laughs> Canadians do. Ooh, that's a good amount of sticks for this fire that I'm surely about to need. Hell, that's like an hour worth of heating right there. And some more rose hips for some delicious tea. Got picking those in this weather. Must be really sore on the fingers, especially since I don't have any mittens. Oh, lots of tea opportunity here. Great. No, I didn't make it to the gold mine. Apparently I need a... Uh, I need a rope to get there. And hey, we found a rope. <laughs> if only I picked up the rope. Could have doubled back for it, thinking about it. It wasn't that far away. Right, sheltered cave feels like minus 17 in here, but we do have a lot of um, stuff to burn. Sadly... I don't see a bed in here, but we can't be picky. We simply need to get warm pretty badly. So we're going to whack out a torch, use one of our matches, of which we have a fair few, so that's no big deal, and get you going. Uh, get you going? Are we so bad at this? Wait, I think chance of success with fur firewood is really low. Just use a stick then. Come on, little fire. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, at this point I'm running low on Tinder game. Come now. Damn it. Uh, okay, fourth time the charm, perhaps? This torch I lit is running low. I swear Canadian's out to get me at every turn. And every moment this fails, I'm building up uh, affliction due to hypothermic risk. <sighs> Alright. Let's put that away and get this thing going. Take this firewood and maybe a bit of coal because I'm really, really cold. And as that warms up, let's cook ourselves up some birch tea and a fat load of water because I think we're going to be here for a while. Maybe a litre. Maybe two. Ah, oh, that's warming us, warming us up nicely. It's even daytime now. It's a shame that I'm incredibly tired. <laughs> it's not going well, Urkran. Um, I was goaded into finally trying to use the charcoal, and it got me frostbite, because it takes a lot longer than expected to draw a little drawing on a piece of paper. And I'm sure Pepperan feels terrible about it. Right, we are still starving. I'm just going to chew down on... I'm going to chance it on the mouldy granola bar. Odds of food poisoning are pretty low from that. Whew. And... That'll get us through a little bit. I'm going to take that but not drink it. We don't need it. I just need to get nice and warm here. And whilst that's ongoing, I may as well cook myself up some lovely bits of tea. 45 minutes. 45 minutes well spent. Do like that Manipur reference. Right. Cook those up. Anything to do while that's happening? Not really. I'm gonna need to rest soon. I suppose I can always turn these back into more sticks. Yeah, some of my clothes I bet they'd do me better just ripped up actually.
Uh oh. Oh god, it's getting windy out there. I can hear it. And we're still in horrible blinding pain. Hey, do rose hips um, have an effect for... It says healing natural tea. I wonder if that takes care of some of my pain and stuff. Oh, there we go. Some rose hips will deal with the pain. Not with the sprains, though. And I don't think I have any bandages. No, I do not. Well, we might be stuck here for a wee while. I don't think I want to brave it in that wind. More rose hips. I could, however, at least have a look at what's going on there. I guess it's coming from behind that rock. Oh yeah, you can even tell. Oh boy, we don't, we don't want to be out in that. Why can't you sleep without a bed? It makes no sense, says Alcoro. Well, it makes sense in a gameplay perspective. But yeah, some kind of rough sleeping here, which doesn't do you so good, might be alright. Or gives you maximum half resting. But if they're going to add that, they'd probably make it much more horrible when you're out of um, when you're out of sleep, like to the point where you just collapse on the ground. If you're digging in till the wind passes, you're going to have to ration hard. Yeah. Well, the one thing I can't afford to ration is the wood. Fortunately, we have a lot of firewood. But yeah, we need to wait for that wind to pass. Just making sure that all my tea is good to go. And we have lots of water. Yoink. Uh, nothing to do but cook more water. It's truly all we can do here. There's nothing I can make. There's nothing I can mend. There's not even anything I can salvage as far as I can tell. I suppose there's this, uh, this pelt which... You know, I, I don't even know what I could do with a wool pelt. Is there stuff that I can make? Wolf, wolf anything? A wolf skin coat. But I need four pelts, and you even need guts for it. Wait, it takes 50 hours to make? That seems odd. Huh. Very warm, though. Very, very warm. Read the fishing manual? I have a fishing manual? Oh, I have a shooting manual. Oh, no, I also have a fishing manual. I don't want to do that just... well... I need to add a little bit of stuff onto this. How about a bit of... a bit of sticks. Right, we'll put, an, we'll put an hour into it, but I need... no, you need to be fed to read. And I actually should probably really start rationing my food, because I barely have anything. So no, no reading for us, just waiting. Things happen all the time, don't they? I'm actually so overloaded, in fact, that, um... Oh, hey! That sounds like the wind has stopped. That's good timing. It's a little unfortunate that I'm so overburdened. Very overburdened, in fact. Right, I'm going to drink all the water that I can to lighten my load a little bit. And then I'm going to drop uh, probably two liters of the stuff. And otherwise, there's not a lot that I could bear, bear to drop. Even though the cedar firewood is heavy, it's really nice to have. So, we're just going to load up on a few more torches and get moving. 
Oh, right, I didn't warm up my tea, did I? Crumbs, well. It's a good torch. Drink the tea, it'll help with the pain. I'm pretty sure the pain's about to go, right? Yeah, the pain is gone, it's just these sprains. Your mobility will be re reduced. I'm sure it'll recover in due time. Won't be able to hold weapons. Hopefully I can still hold this, though. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go then. But where are we going? We don't even know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, I certainly don't know where we're going. way, I guess. Can we try to go back to the angler hut? I'm not sure I'd achieve much back there, and I have no idea where it is. Hard to say no to sticks. We love the sticks. We do not love the, uh, the wolves, though. It'll be fine. Quit fussing. Is it really a sprain if it heals in about four hours? Can't believe you're meant to lead us to victory against the Reapers. Yeah. If only the Council could uh, dismiss the claims of Canada. Don't forget the tea. I won't forget. But I'm going to drink it now. Where's my warm one? There we go. Glug, glug, glug. We're fully saturated on water. That gives us a few calories. And probably best of all, it warms us up a touch. And uh, restores 5% condition. I don't know if I want to go this way or that way. I... I'm so lost. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know if you could call it lost if you didn't know where to go in the first place. But that doesn't look promising. I think uh, if I ever la land up in Ash Canyon or Timberwolf again, the only reasonable thing I can do is leave, because I don't know how to survive here. Well, the other reasonable thing to do is to get a, a chuffing map. Oh, I hope this isn't a dead end. I can't be climbing right now. Oh, it looks pretty dead, but maybe I can go under, around and under. You know, just follow the sound of all those wolf howls. Not all who wander are lost, but you are. Yes. Oh, more tea. Or more tea to be. Uh-oh, this may not be as smart an idea as it seemed in my head. Isn't this the same hole you climbed into in three previous incarnations? Uh, wouldn't surprise me, because it looks pretty dead-endy. Looks extremely dead-endy. I'm pretty sure I die. I'm pretty sure it's my third time down here, which meaning, which means this must be the way down from that way out from the um, the coal mine, which means I am in a terrible place. It's your second time down here on this character. Yeesh. Certainly no beds here. For all our complaints, at least our condition is kind of okay. That sports a bit. Hmm. Need some first aid soon. Boy, what am I even meant to do? I don't even know how to leave this place. We could use torches to leave a trail instead of breadcrumbs. That would be a lot of torches.
No, I think what I really need is a map. Or a better sense of direction. But I know that latter one isn't happening. Okay, getting dangerously cold here. And all my tea has gone cold as well. That's only minus eight. When I'm sheltered from the wind. Don't worry, the night is young. I'm sure there can be plenty more interloping. Although tomorrow might suffer for it. Wait. So cold. Um... All right, what do we have over here then? I'm hoping for a way out. Although there are a few ways to interpret that. So tired. I could lay down right here. <laughs> no temperature. <laughs> No awakeness, no food in the stomach. The only thing we have is hydration. Thank goodness for auto walk. I can just press Z and keep going. Still stops you when you open the menu, though. That's just tomorrow, Jake. Who even cares about that? Looks at schedule. You absolute rotter. <laughs> Probably have DDR slated for that, but really, I just want to play a lot of um, a lot of lo uh, Lost in the Dark, no, Long Dark. Hey, if I found the Angler place, at least I would be, be able to get my condition back. And this kind of seems like it might have it. It's hard to say, though. Uh, I need that torch back about right now. Fear me. Well, if there are dogs after me, then the angler place might not be far away. Can't even see it. We're probably hallucinating them again. That's what Shepard does after a while in this hellscape. If that's where the waterfall is, then I think the Angler Cabin is just over in this direction a wee bit. I'd run towards it, but uh, somebody sprained their legs and now has difficulty with that. Oh yeah, it's right here. Uh, at least I recognize this part. I'm actually going to grab some cattails because I'm a little low on tinder and I'm definitely interested in food. But we're going to go in there, warm up and try and figure out how to get the heck out of this place. Unfortunately, it's going to be probably night time when we get around to doing that. Hey, look at that. I know what I'm doing. In we go, go. Get that fire lit up. Although we don't need it lit up, do we? Uh, do we actually gain anything from lighting it up? I don't have any food that I can cook. I have loads of water. I suppose I could heat up some teas, but that's no big deal. Hell, I'll light it up anyway. No, I really need to sleep. So I'm actually just going to put this out. And I'm going to uh, drink, eat, and sleep. 
Eat my cattails, because I'm going to sleep for about 10 hours, I think. So I need uh, about 750 calories, I think. 10 hours, 750 calories. <laughs> I want to avoid bashing open the dog food if I can. Your tea is cold? Probably not a problem. Chomp these down. Guzzle up the water. And sleep for 10 hours. Z -z 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 -z. It's warm enough here that tea being cold isn't an issue. Correct, it's warm enough in here. And would you look at that? Our condition actually looks quite good. I sure wish I could see. That's our bed. And that's the table, and that's the shelf. Where's the where's the exit? Shelf, cardboard box. Come on, no, no one, no one's this blind. And I'm pretty sure this is just pure blackness. I just don't want to light anything. I want to get out of here. Well, I'll tell you what I should probably do is look at my map again. Still got that map? So where are we here? That's the Angler's Den. And I want to desperately get out of this place. Oh my god, it's such a long way to get out. <laughs> so the exit's all the way down here, and it still only takes me to Timberwolf Mountain. So, um... Gee. How the heck do I get out? Can I even get out? Yeah, a lot of cattails on the river, so food wouldn't be an issue. I could just follow the river south, but it looks like you need a rope to get up to the respite area. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where in the world can I go to get out of here? I don't have the spoiler-free maps, so if you could link them up to me, I'd be much obliged. But for now, I'm just using this. It's not like I'm going, ooh, here's a hammer, let's go there. And anything looked at will be promptly forgotten. How the heck do I get out of this place? I'm panning around and zooming in on this, on uh, Windows crappy photo viewer. Well, there's a nice fishing hut, which doesn't have a bed. Oh, there's another way out to Timberwolf Mountain if I just keep following the water. If I keep following the water, but there's no caves or anything. Well, there's one kind of shallow cave. But basically, if I just follow the water and the cattails, it will end with a way that gets me to a transition to Timberwolf Mountain. That could be my only ticket to survival. And I guess I'll heat up in the ice fishing hut when we get there. So just follow the water and the cattails. I suppose you can't see what I'm looking at, can you? It's over there, to the far right. So if I follow out of the angler's den that's at the top, and just follow the fresh water all the way to the ice fishing hut, I'll use that to warm myself back up. And then we make a break for Timberwolf at the other side. That's the plan. Will it work? Probably not. Um... Either way, I do want some fire done for that, so I may as well light up a torch and uh, light up some tea as well. Just three packs of wolves, you got this. I'm glad someone believes in me. Right, we have cattails, of course. I'm just going to shove a stick in there and hope for the best. There's a map app for your mobile called Extended App Companion. Come on, little fire. I really don't like looking at phones.
Then again, it would be handy if it linked into where I'm actually at. Like, I just want my, my own position on the map like you get in the Dark Walker scenario. Come on, little and someone has given me the console commands to it. I just don't want to end the stream to faff around with console. Even Perfect. though that would be the answer to all my problems. Right, a few sticks should get me where I need to be. How are we on water, anyway? Well, we got a decent amount of water for where we are, so I reckon all I need to do is just warm up my teas. And for that, we just go to our tea, and we just... Uh, no, no, don't no, drink it! Ah, oh, crap, I wanted you to drop it. I right-clicked on it, thinking that would drop, but I guess double right-clicking drinks it. I wonder if you can drink a tiny amount of it to restore your condition that way. I'm not sure if I'll bother carrying fire. No, there's wolves. I need to carry fire with me. How many torches do I have? That should be enough. Still a wee while until some of these are ready. But it only really matters that I have one or two of them ready, so... Grab, 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 grab. Take a torch and let's go. If you drink a little bit, it only gives you a little bit of the effect. Unfortunately, a little bit of the effect is all we needed. And it doesn't seem that windy or anything nasty, so we just need to follow this fresh-ish water. If it can even be called that. Feels like minus 20 out here, and I don't think we found any clothes whatsoever. So we're feeling every bit of it out here. Once we go down to about half heat, we're going to chug our lovely warm tea. And if I find some cattails along the way, I will be harvesting a fair few of them, because we don't have a lot of food. Like you, you're a cattail. And free tinder with it is just such a nice added bonus. Now I'm really bad at this. I just need to follow this. So that's how it's going to be, huh? Well, see ya. Hopefully they don't stalk me too hard. It's not like they'll be looking at me thinking, oh hoo hoo dinner's come our way. Uh, however, already feeling the chill, so... You know what, I will drink you. Just get it out of here. Oh yeah, we barely got any benefit out of that, didn't we? I do still want these, even though I'm being chased by wolves. Uh-oh, how, how do I worm my way out of this situation? There we go. The wolf will never follow my awesome pathing. Follow that fresh water. Oh wow, they really do want me. Hopefully it's just the one of them at least. Hopefully. What the hell is that? That looks like a moose. Oh, moose is probably bad news for me. I sure hope it scares off the wolf. That does not sound like a scared wolf, but that also drove me off of my uh, position, which I've largely lost. Be scared of my fire. Be very scared of my fire. I'll quickly check on my map to see where I'm meant to be for that uh, ice fishing hut. If we just keep following it, it should be very clearly in the middle of all this watery stuff. I 
am I suddenly going so slow? It's like I'm going into a strong wind. Doesn't feel that strong. Also, I wonder if this is the kind of ice that breaks through. Bitter Marsh. Hey, it's meant to be around here somewhere. Oh, this place is bigger than I thought. Ah, crumbs. Where is it? Where is it? Looks like it's on the ice itself. That's what it looks like on the map. I'm lucky this uh, wind doesn't blow out my uh, my thing already. My torch. Jesus, this is cold. You know, it doesn't need much help in being blown out. Oh god, I've completely lost my direction now because of that uh, that wolf and the moose. I don't know if I'm heading forward, backwards, side to side, or what. No, don't light it with that. Light it with that. Oh, so cold. Hold on, what's that burnt out looking thing over there? Hello. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Ah. Sure beats nothing. Right, we're warming ourselves up here, whether we like it or not. Is this even what I was meant to be looking for? It looks more like a uh, fishing hut thing. Well, as long as I can warm up. <laughs> Again with the rope. Do I really want the rope? Really? I don't think so. It's better to make note that there is a rope here. Come on, little fire. All right, great. Perfect. Now, desperately need some... Uh, more heat out of this thing, so I'm going to use this heavy, heavy firewood. Maybe even a bit of coal. I'm just pretty desperate for heat right now. And I'm even going to eat some cattails just to stave off condition loss and maybe even gain a bit of condition while I'm here. Hey, look at that. We're actually warming up a bit. And I guess I want to cook something. I don't know what, though. Tea, water, water, I guess. I'm gonna stay here for a bit to warm up, so maybe maybe an hour with that would be good. I've got plenty of uh, plenty of stuff going on there. <laughs> yeah, for forgive me for hoping for a slightly better hut. Uh, also, forgive me for tabbing out to try and figure out which direction to go out of this, because I don't have any sense of direction here. Um. I mean, I need to go south, but which way is south? Don't know. I need to follow the water. Hmm. Can't break through that. I wonder if there's any anything around here. Um, looking at my carry weight, when that tiredness uh, hits in, I'm going to be losing out a fair bit on that, so it might be a bad idea, not be a bad idea to just shove in some of that anyway. Grab one of my um, one of my most busted torches. Light her up. There's a way to check if nor if it's north of a stick. If you'd like to know, it's not always the same as north on the map, though. I'm not sure I understood any of that. I'm just trying to see where I go from here. 
Right, well, they're, they're the closest stones that I can see are over in that direction. How does that look around the map? So that, where I'm looking at now, oh geez, it goes along like that. It goes along and then curves in. So I think I'm looking north here. Yeah, so if I go out of the front door, I'm heading south. So knowing that, follow the water out the south there and I should be good. But I'm still going to be warming up here as much as I can. In-game north is not 100% lined with map drawn north. I don't know what you mean by that. Alright, we're, we're actually getting a little bit of condition back here. Anyway, that general direction. Follow the water in that direction, it should get me out of Ash Canyon. Dropped sticks always point in the same direction, called Stick North. But Stick North isn't the same as map... Okay. Why call it Stick North? That sounds confusing. Anyway, I get it, I get it. Is it possible to fix the fro Frostpunk? No, uh, the Frostbite is permanent. I will always have minus five health. But it was better than dying. Slightly. It's nice to be warming up a touch, but I uh, could always warm up more, couldn't I? I think I will... How do I drop these anyway? Glace. 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 So these guys will warm up. I might even drink one just as I leave. And then uh, brave it. Even though it's windy, even though it's snowing, I need to get out of Ash Canyon. And I can't stay here forever. Although I have a lot of wood to burn. And there's a lot of... Um, a lot of cattails to eat around here. I wish I'd picked up a few more on my way. But I would get really tired. I want to get out of here before tiredness overtakes me. Now the parasites sure, surely are not permanent friends. I like to think they're going to go away after... Maybe a day. Feels like ages ago when I ate those parasites. But I think we've only survived for a day and a half. Alright, my condition might be alright for a wee while longer. I'm going to eat another cattail stock. No, I've just got risk of parasites, and it looks like it's just about completely gone. Or maybe that's just showing the 1%. No idea how it really works. At least Frostbite risk is almost completely gone. I wish I was warmer. I get that it adds to the ticker, but when's that ticker go away? Surely at some point, right? God, it just seems like it's getting worse and not better out there. I worry greatly for uh, being attacked by wolves out there. I do at least have a marine flare. So if I get really buggered senseless, we can always scare them off with that, surely. Right, I guess it's time to load up on my beloved torches, heavy though they may be, and then make our way out. If the torch goes too bad, the most important thing is to stay warm out there. Nine minutes till burned, we're good. Hey, there we go. Bye bye, parasites. Bye bye, frost punk risk. take another one? I reckon we can. And we will, because we're getting some good torches here, which is nice. Grab you. Drink you. Take you, take you, and let's -a go. Firstly, let's run to get away from these uh, wolves. Immediate frostbite risk the moment I leave. That's tragic. 
And although it takes a little bit of time, I do want those because uh, food is something of an issue. I meant to follow the water, but I reckon this is... Oh, crap. This is watery enough. And yeah, now I'm running off the water. Oh god, I've just ran back to the elk. Perhaps I was completely wrong in my directions. So hang on, which side is the moose on? The correct side or the wrong side? Actually, I think the very wrong side. Oh well, I've at least ran into a wall, but which side of the wall is it? No idea. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, uh, gee, I've no idea. I think... I think I want to turn this left a bit. How do you get lost immediately after deciding which way to go? Well, I might have uh, might have chosen the wrong way. Maybe I thought I knew correct, and I actually did not. Plus, wolfy and moosey spooks immediately made me lose my bearings. Uh, oh god, I need that. Throwing arm is too good. Clearly not one of the xenonauts. Okay, there's that thing running overhead, meaning that I have come too far in this direction. Meaning I actually want to turn around, but I don't know from which angle I've approached it. Hmm. I'm looking at this part of the map here with the, uh, the ladder running between two bits. So which side am I approaching it from? The bottom side or the top side? Probably the top side, meaning I want to stretch down under it and then take an immediate left. Yeah, over in that direction. Yeah, more tea, more warmth, even a few calories. That's pretty good on the warming up. Jake, the map is on the screen. Thank you for pinging me with that. But hey, at least you get a chance to be as blind as I am when playing this game. Ooh, what's over there? What is over there? Is it anything? Should I even bother checking it out? Never know what it could be. Could even be a, I don't know, dead bear for me to crawl into. The torch provides a tiny bit of heat for me. But more than anything, it gives me a bit of uh, light, which I find very useful. This isn't a cave, or is it? Well, whatever it is, it's probably not worth my time to check out. You're looking at the spoiler map. Yeah, I need to get my hands on the not spoiler maps. due time. So if I just hug this wall it should get me out of here. Unfortunately it gets me into Timberwolf, which is uh, not much of an upgrade. One might even say it's not at all an upgrade, but at least Timberwolf is one level closer to not being in either Timberwolf or Ash Canyon. I'd bring up the map to show what I mean, but uh, what the hell. There, closer to Peasant Valley. Which is where I would like to be. Although the weather is terrible, at least there's stuff to get. I'm about to get freezing cold, and I haven't given myself a lovely place to warm up here, have I? How am, I, how am I even getting out of here? Is it truly just a case of hug this wall? It really is a case of hug this wall. However, if I just go a little bit down into the water, there should be cattails for me. 
And that's not even a map thing, that's a cattails spawn on fresh water knowledge thing. Well, non seawater at least. Come on. Poor Jane Shepherd. It's really feeling the chill. Come on. There we go. Get those calories. Get those nature bounty calories. Spawn? You mean grow? No, because nothing grows in this game. Once you pick a plant, it will never regrow. These rose hips, gone forever. Uh, tell me there's a way up here that doesn't involve climbing through that waterfall, please. Do I need to, like, zigzag up here? That's my best guess, and since hypothermia is kicking in, I really need to pick up the pace. Don't snap your delicate little Canadian thighs now. We're almost out of here. Uh, this way? No, not this way. Come on, Jane, get it together. Okay, what the heck? Where have I just gone? Uh, nowhere good. Nowhere good. How the heck do I get in? Oh, oh, it's tighter than I thought. It's so narrow. It's not birch bark, that's a stone. How I would love some more birch bark. Store condition. Oh yeah, hell yes, leave Ash Canyon. Leave to never return. Right, I need shelter pretty quick. And since I've already been looking at maps, I'm actually going to go over to my Timberwolf map and figure out where the heck I am. I took the Ash Canyon route. I don't know which Ash Canyon. Oh yeah, now I do. The more southern one. If I want to go to Pleasant Valley, I need to somewhat hold to the left. Can I show you what I mean? I might as well. It's, it's only fair that you see this map as well. Hey, it's huge. Right, so let's bring it right the way down. So I reckon I came through that Two Ash Canyon thing that you see in the far right. And to get to Peasant Valley, we need to go all the way that way. There doesn't look to be a lot of indoor shelter along the way if I want to beeline it, but I do want to beeline it. So what am I doing? I think I'm at a lower level, so I need to take the first left to bring me up a bit. Oh, but I need I need shelter. I need heat. I'm freezing here. Hmm. I want to go up Echo Ravine. And then, and then, and then. I want to steer clear of that bear, that's for sure. There's a wing. Uh, a destroyed aeroplane around there might have some good stuff to loot. And maybe even some indoors-ish place to warm up. And then just generally follow the way past the Mountaineer Hut, which I could definitely sleep in. And then make my way over to Peasant Valley. So here's hoping I can make that happen. But I'm really, really cold. I'm protected from the... I'm supposedly protected from the wind here, so I'm actually just going to start a fire. Uh... Anywhere that's protected by from the wind here, please. Okay, well apparently this is. It doesn't look like it, but it says it is, so... Uh, screw it, I have accelerant, and I'm really cold, so get it now. Ah! Right, put that away. Throw on some firewood and some coal just to get some much needed heat. Much needed heat. Also gonna eat some cattails to try and get some condition back, even just a little bit. 
Okay, right, I'm slightly warm now. Right, I'm going to prepare some rose hips. How am I doing on water, by the way? I've got two liters of water, which is quite a quite a bit for us, so I will prepare some rose hips, just one, and then I'll cook it, and I'll prepare more and cook that. Gee, that's not a lot of warmth for me, but it'll have to do. Prepare some more rose hip. Hypothermia risk has gone away, which is rather nice. Cook up some more. Boy, thank goodness we're somehow out of that horrible wind. Somehow. And hey, it's almost morning, which is also kind of nice. But we're still kind of extremely cold. Nah, I'm not big on running loads of predictions. Right, might as well mash up my, uh, my busted torches while I can. Hey, I have simple tools. I don't know what I can do with that. But not sewing. Any more of those to mash up? No, I have pretty good ones remaining. So many things that I don't have clothes for. I reckon I... Uh, I think I'll just... Drink some, um, drink some hot tea to quickly get warm, grab torches and go. Because man, I gotta go. And I don't want to use up all my tea because, well, hmm, I'm also getting tired, aren't I? Right, that one's ready in a few minutes. Once that's ready, well, whilst it's getting ready, I might as well grab some torches. Although, I'm really close to my limit, aren't I? Yeah, I am. And it's only going to get closer to that limit, right? Well, sod it. Uh, whoops. Drink that lovely hot tea. I don't know which tea it was, actually. Hmm. That one, I suppose. Oh, it's getting colder. Drink the tea. Feel very warm. Grab the other tea. Grab a torch and let's go. Uh, is this the right way? Mm, maybe. That was a great torch I pulled out at the last minute, though. Kind of a shame, but oh well. Let's hope it doesn't blow out. I need to take the first left that I can. No, I shouldn't run. I'll get too tired. I shouldn't walk. I'll get too cold. Great sound design in this game. It's so good. I mean, it's frostpunk levels of good. Hope I haven't overshot the way I meant to get up, but it should be a pretty obvious looking way over to the left. Feels like minus 16. Yeah, it's pretty cold. I know, I know. I need to hug the left a little bit here, but only a little bit, and then that should... Gotha. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to be sheltered from the wind here. I'll go left a little bit and there should be that broken down plane and maybe there'll be some clothes and stuff in it. My clothes are surprisingly not getting wet. And maybe the wind is drying them out too much. But yeah, what an unpleasant situation. Also, now I'm overburdened and I could break my delicate little Canadian ankles. To be fair, we barely slept. Mm, perhaps I don't want to reach the peak of this since it's 
shielding me from the worst of the wind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's wolves. That's wolves. I do have a marine flare, as I recall, but still, that's wolves. Don't want to deal with wolves. Wolves not my friend. Grab that so I can at least make some tea. Speaking of tea, let's gulp some down to stay a little warmer. Ah, Birch trees means there might be some birch bark here. Boy, would I love some birch bark. Eyes peeled for birch bark. Not seeing any birch bark. Also, I've kind of lost my sense of direction a bit already. If it were clearer, I'd probably... Oh, that's birch bark. If it were clearer, I'd probably see the plane already. Oh, hey, there's a plane. Can I climb inside this plane, or... I guess that'd be too much to ask. Sir, I've been here before, though. Was I even meant to be going left a bit? Just for this, but after this I need to hold right a bit and just uh, follow that path to a mountaineer's hut. You got any goodies for me, dead man? You don't have a thing for me. You've been past here. When you were wandering in the blizzard, you walked past this. Was that in this lifetime? No, I think I've 100% been in Ash Canyon this lifetime. Gotta warm up somehow. I know, I know, it's cold. You just need to hold out till we get to the next place. Forgive my constant checking of the map, but my uh, sense of direction, as I often say, is exceptionally bad. I think I need to go more in this direction. The actual plane is at the summit of the mountain. That's where the bulk of, bulk of the loot is. Ooh, that's nice. This is not so nice. Yeah, get away. Okay, now we're going to lose uh, condition very quickly. I'm uh, switching out my torches sooner than I would like to. Just in case I get uh, jumped by a wolf. Way? I mean, what am I even looking at here? There's kind of wall stuff to my left, which doesn't seem right, does it? At the same time, I think it actually is okay. Um, maybe. I don't know, it all looks the damn same. Oh, I'll stick with this direction for a while. The greenish mean up at the greenish? Dainty little Canadian legs hurt heading up here. Looks like I'm threading a needle between two bits here, and I'm looking at another bleeding rock. More rocks in the distance. It does pain me to be constantly checking a map like this, but... I think... I have a rough idea where I am. No, no, I don't. I have no idea where I am. But maybe if I curve to the left a little bit, then I'll meet the mountaineering hut. I'm willing to believe that. Oh, whose corpse is that? That's cute and all, but it's not what I'm after. Hopefully it's what that wolf is after. Just eat your food there. I'm not here to steal your frozen deer carcass. In games with uh, bright torches, do you find your eyes get 
tired of squinting. Well, I keep my brightness on my monitor very low, so it's very seldom a problem. Where is that? Okay, this seems... No, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Let's just admit it. I don't know where I am, and I just hope that I can find that mountaineering hut. Maybe up here I'll have a good sight of it. Hold on, is that it? That kind of looks like a hut. Ooh, ho, ho. I feel like lucky when he enters my city. So tired. I know we're tired, but don't worry. This looks like a lovely warm place to be. Oh, it's looking less warm by the minute. Okay. Fireplace on. Not the birch bark. Absolutely not the birch bark. Why in the world does it... Why does it um, start there? That's the worst thing you'd want to burn. I guess it goes alphabetical order, maybe? Come on, little fire. Come on. Ah. Right, let's put this out for a bit. Let's just slam on some coal and some cedar and start cooking up some, uh, a little bit of water, I guess, just in case we need that. I want it done quickly. I want to warm up quickly. I want to loot the place quickly and then I want to go to sleep. Oh, a scarf. The first bit of clothing we've actually found. Uh, barely does anything for us, but barely anything is still something. Granola, a book, some matches, some kind of journalist thing. Crate with nothing in it, a crate with nothing in it. Oh boy, we got here just in time. Listen to that! So much firewood, mmm. Yeah, okay, we're going to need to keep this fire going for a long time if we want to recover condition. Because otherwise we're going to freeze in here. Anything else worth our time before we go to sleep? A vest. Yeah, that will come in handy. Ah, nice and, nice and cozy now. I'm sure the clothes will dry as we wear them in bed. But yeah, maybe for now we can just drop them and warm them up like so. Yeah, I need to keep a very long fire going here and get a lot of condition back. I'm gonna eat this crappy granola bar while I'm here. My shoes? My shoes are wet? Oh, they're a little wet. Badly, I'm going to be sleeping through the day, but there's no way I... Holy crap. Anyone want to see this? <laughs> no, thank you. So, boy, do I feel good about my timing of getting here. If I was out there, I'd be dead, and I would not have spotted this place. That's the biggest thing. Is the window supposed to be open? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be too hot when I sleep. No, that, that window is not in a closing mood. You know, how about we close the roof while we're at it? Right, so, I want to put on enough fire to uh, sleep for 10 hours, really. Uh, I have enough calories to sleep for 10 hours, but if I don't warm this place up, I'm going to die in my sleep. So, regrettably, I'm just going to have to thunk all of this on. Reclaimed wood as well. And... There we go. Screw everything else. And then, no, I need to make sure I'm fully satiated. 
Yeah, at this point, I would want to be under a mattress for warmth. Right, 10 hours, nighty night. Ah, this will give us good condition back as well. Unfortunately, it's going to be late in the day. Feels like 45 degrees, <laughs> yes. Because we kept this thing running real, real hot. It would feel so good to put these clothes on right now. Ah, okay. Okay, we still got an hour of this. I'm still really thirsty. But look at that condition. Back up to full, aside from the frostbite. Wait, I got two bits of frostbite? I must have missed that. Oh, well. What can you do? Hmm... Let's go and do a liter of water. Do I really want to be here for a liter, though? Uh, for long enough to do a liter? I should really get moving at some point. Memento hint. Don't think we care much about it. I could be smashing up uh, benches and things for a bit more wood. Not sure it's worth the calories or time for that. Is there another cooking slot here, or is there really just one? I guess I could prepare some mushrooms while we wait. And then I'll uh, warm up my tea and get ready to go. In fact, I could sleep for a little longer, but no. Check if there's anything around the house. It's a good idea to do what while we're waiting on this anyway. I'll drop my cup of tea here. Still a wee while until that thing's good to go, so I shall, of course, take a torch and we'll get looking for a wee bit. Something to eat. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well, you're going to starve for a bit, actually. Uh, hey, now that it's nice and clear and that we can see, we might just be able to find something worth our time. A double frostbite does suck, but hopefully we can just cope with it. Hey, it's so warm we're not actually losing uh, heat. Oh, wait, no, it's because we we're close to the... There's a raging fireplace in that home. Anyway. Food. Food is good. We're not going for well fed. And we're almost out of Timberwolf if we just remember where we're heading. Anything in these? No. Might be more cattails along the way somewhere. Yeah, I can hear those wolves. They must be happy. Happy to have a friend. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Right, I'm going to follow along here and grab some of this. And then... Jeez, yeah, it is almost night time again. But I can't escape it. I need to keep moving. Pleasant Valley should have some fairly nice um, manufactured goods for me. One can hope. Whilst the bunnies might look tempting to harvest, I don't think I'd get much out of it right now. hope this doesn't break. But surely you wouldn't put a fisherman's cabin here if the ice were that easy to break. A message? Yeah, whatever. Taking your goodies, taking your firewood. Ooh, a hammer! That is generally considered a game changer, but it's probably not too big a deal for me. Ooh, another two. And it's uh, slightly better than this scarf, I think. I'll just wear it, why not? Go rummel in a rune. Right, back we go. Maybe warm ourselves up a bit more. Doesn't matter that we uh, lose this torch because the fire should still be raging at home. Should be able to smash up things easier with the hammer as well. Like when I have a crate that I want to disassemble, just use big hammer on it and kathunk, we're good. Or so I hope. Come on, Jane, up you go. Feels like night is coming. Oh boy, I almost burnt my tea. 
but almost means didn't. Right, so I guess we're just going to grab a stick and go, but go where? Where am I heading? Uh, help me out, Timberwolf Mountain map. I want to get away from there, and maybe we should have you like under the chat so that it doesn't keep getting in the way. I want to head away from the water, or maybe into the water and just straight left out. Keeps me away from that antlered thing as well. Grab some more cattails and then follow the path along some more remains of the plain. And then it's over to Pleasant Valley. And oh, I'm going to be happy to be out over at Pleasant Valley. I said I wanted to warm up while I'm here, though. Well, I certainly am warming up. It feels like 45 degrees in here. I'm not going to eat, though. We're going full starvation mode. See, if I were to mash you with a hammer, it would only take 11 minutes and far fewer calories. And I don't think it takes condition loss. Alright, I wonder if the temperature just immediately goes when this thing leaves, or if it stays for a while. I suppose it doesn't matter. Let's get moving. How long has it been? I've been at it for a long time, and we finally got a run going. And of all the runs, this one started in... Uh, the horrible part of Ash Canyon. And we're almost out of Timberwolf. God, I'm going to be glad to see the back of this place. I don't like spray paint, so we're leaving that behind. I do, however, like cattails. Great food, great tinder, great scum. And I, when my temperature goes down a bit, I'm going to chug that cup of tea again. I do really feel bad for all the tea that I've wasted to get this far, but whatever keeps me alive. Come on, there we go. Something weird happened there. Right, go, 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 go. What is that? It's a backpack. We have not seen a lot of these. And there's nothing in it, of course. So we just leave it for some other sucker who comes along going, ooh, backpack. To follow his general direction. Find some more remains. It only feels like minus 10. I'm still going to chug my warm rose hip tea, though, to talk myself up and hopefully lose heat less. Funny, having just a little bit more clothes is working wonders for not freezing to death. Now, if I only had some mittens, I could have killed some rabbits, dragged them back in, and sliced them up for... Uh, oh. Uh, to make some rabbit fur glove things. But I didn't. Some remains over there, some remains over here. Mostly looking for if there's any luggage or stuff that's scattered and all of this, but otherwise I think I'm heading in that general direction. Or is it that general direction? Jeez, I have no idea. <laughs> Help me out, Matt. Alright, just uh, head towards the one that was further-ish away. I don't, I don't like the sound of that... Um, sound of that wind I heard. Hopefully it's not a sign of more wind to come. Surprised there's no scrap metal to be had. How much cloth would you get from ripping up the scarf? One, I reckon. And yeah, you're probably thinking make some cloth handy things, but you need four cloth for that, I believe. And that I simply do not have. Is it this way? I might be going the wrong way. It might be over that way. Screw it, let's go this way. Believe. No, it's not the plane that we crashed in. We're not the only person to have crash landed. There was apparently a giant geomagnetic storm or something that downed our plane, likely took out others. I cannot help myself. I see sticks, I grab sticks. Stop whinging all the time, jeez. It's just me, me, me with you. Barely caught that one. 
This is really taking me to Pleasant Valley. Well, at least I'm not too freezing cold. Not seeing the triple down arrows is nice, although we are seeing double down. Just grabbing loads of sticks for the fires that are doubtlessly going to be needed. Using sticks feels good as well, because at least sticks are renewable. Question to those in the know, when you start running, is there a cooldown before your stamina starts replenishing? So is it better to do long bursts of running, or are short bursts just okay? Caring so much about a sprain wrist now, hopefully we'll be fine. Is that the game based on the award-winning children's story Hatchet? If yes, where is your hatchet? We'd need to make a hatchet, and for that I'm pretty sure we'd need some smelted scrap metal. We don't have scrap metal, and we don't have a smelter, but we do have a hammer. Oh yes, yes, please. Oh, thank god. For the first time since we've been playing, we have successfully left Ash Canyon and Timberwolf. We're now in Not So Pleasant Valley, and forgive me whilst I check the map to see where exactly I am. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think if I just follow this way down, there should be an abandoned cache. And I... Oh, God, I'm f I'm still far away from anything useful here, but we'll carry on. Well, I think I'm far away from useful stuff. People that know this game would probably argue otherwise. It's not about calorie usage, I'm talking about your stamina meter. Stamina meter in the bottom right, which is obscured by chat. Oh, I hope I don't need to climb down this thing. Oh... Dear. Could I not? Could we have some kind of alternative where I don't do this. Yeah, we can just shimmy our way down, right? Oh, I'm going to lose my torch doing this. Ooh, okay, don't worry, it's just a little sprain and just a little pain. Come on, we are we are Commander Shepard. Of course, we can make it through. Oh, that was a bit of a fault. And hey, there's something there. Something that made all of this worthwhile. And it's not more wolves, although there may be more wolves there. Eh, no problem. Could warm up here. It's not the daftest thing to do. A cooking pot. I don't think I want a second one. Oh, but there are two cooking bits here. Well, if nothing else, I'm going to start a fire. Cattail head with a stick. Come on. Just get a bit of warmth. Maybe warm up some tea or something. Before we keep on moving. Yeah, crumbs. Come on, get a little better at this. Thank goodness we have all these cattail heads. Come on, little fire. Come on. Hey, now that's a fire and a half. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's not that good, actually. Let's make it a bit better. I'm going to throw on this firewood for the hell of it. And that should warm us up to a nice place. I'm going to cook up uh, two half liters of water. Uh. Water, please. Actually, those mushrooms might be a better thing to cook right now. That is empty. Come on, this is this is certainly a little fire. Heat up better. I'm not warm enough. Come 
any rose hips at all, do I? Oh, but I could prepare some. I'd, I'd be happy to prepare some if it weren't so bleeding cold. Come on. There we go. Now I'm actually going up in the world. Three minutes until that's ready. Just get me that. And then... Do a small amount of water. Whilst I prepare myself these rose hips. Can only do one, sadly. This is barely warming me up at all. Haha. <laughs> Right. Take that, cook ourselves up these rose hips. Feels like three degrees. Well, it's warm enough to keep us alive. You won't be cold in the bunker that you just walked past. There's a bunker, you say. Well, we'll get this done and then we'll check that out. I might have put a bit too much on the stove, but it was mostly just regular wood. I might just drink the rose hips, get myself some instant heat and get rid of the pain, or we could have a look in the bunker. Get that ready, take it, take the pot, take that while we're at it, take the whole thing. Yeah, we're overburdened, but let's just have a quick look around. There's an outhouse with a whole heap of firewood and a backpack, beef jerky. Is there anything in the outhouse? Probably nothing I want to grab. It's a bit, but I'll make it. The heck is I gotta pause to read this stuff. Even if you don't want a massive cooking pot, bring it into the farmhouse, massive stove, blah blah blah. Start running without stuff in and then try to alternate between shift holding and shift releasing. You may realise that your character sways from left to right. Get the rhythm. I oh that sounds like complete anti fun. Take that ruined torch. Hello? I left a lot of fire in that place, but maybe that's for the better. Hey, it's warm in here. Okay, it would be very dark without this torch, so good thing that I have it. And let's just ransack the place. Is this some prepper bunker? Oh, I don't have a pry bar. Now I'm told that the things you pry open often have better loot. At this point I would like any loot. Uh what's the point in opening the grate? I'll take it. Ooh, nice. Hey, I could sleep down here. How warm is it? Three degrees. Warmth bonus? Five degrees. Now that's nice. Okay, we're going to take a nap down here. Especially since it's night time. Yeah, I think the preppers took everything before they left. Nothing under the bed. Wow. That's horrible. And I didn't even close the, uh, the way in. Okay. So that's how I do things. Can you destroy the green box? I could. I don't think it's worth the calories or the time. What is certainly worth it is stocking up on a wee bit of calories and sleeping just to get my warmth and everything back. But really? There's nothing here? That is shocking. Oh well. Um... Eat up, I suppose. Eat up and drink up. Maybe <laughs> I can charge up my phone in the power outlet. Yeah, if only. Right. I'm just gonna eat the beef jerky. I don't mind starving a wee bit, but I don't want to starve all through the night. I don't have much condition that I need to get back, so there's no point being super calorie loaded here. I'll just make sure that I'm tanked up on water. I think I have one of the DLC. I previously claimed I had none of them, but I believe that to be not true now. Right, uh, how long do we need to sleep? I don't know, we'll sleep for as long as we can. We'll wake up saying, oh, I can't sleep anymore anyway. Okay, now...
sounds like there's a storm out there. Let's find out how much of one. Ah, I've seen worse. Feels like minus 20 out here. Or am I even... Actually, it does seem really rather bad. Perhaps I shouldn't be out here in this. Yeah, I'm just going to get wet and freezing cold. No, see, I've already lost a quarter of my warmth. Nope. Back in we go, go. Where it's lovely and warm. Would have been nice if there was a place to actually uh, warm things up, like water here. But let's just stay over at the bed. That way I can know that I should satiate. And probably just, well, I know I can't sleep much, but I could pass a couple hours, unless there's something worth doing. Um, do I have any cloth at all? I have one bit of cloth. I could, however, tear apart this scarf, although it is in good condition. I could tear it apart for a little bit of cloth. Heaven says I need cloth. I need something to cover my hands with. I don't think I need more wood, so I'm not going to be smashing up crate because I'm already pretty overburdened as it is. Mm, I guess I'll tear up these. It's good to do it down here where I'm nice and warm. Hopefully I don't accidentally... That's probably a sign to be snapping off my frostbitten fingers going, yep, that's the stuff. Mmm... There goes the pinky. There goes the ring finger. Nice little snap at the end of it all as well. Okay, anything else that we can do that's worth our time here? I don't want to repair stuff because my repair scale is laughable. I'd rather have the cloth so that I can make a... Uh, improvised head wrap would have some good... Um, good heat retention, but I'd far rather have improvised hand wraps. It's just that they cost a lot of cloth. In fact, how much heat bonus would that give? Oh, only half a degree. I was contemplating tearing up some of my really crappy clothes for it, but nothing is so crappy that I'd do that. Yeah. We prepare a bandage, but I don't want to use up my cloth for it. All right, well, uh, let's have a look outside and see if the horrible snowstorm is gone. I do remember with great cringe uh, when I was checking around inside dark buildings during dark water, just striking a match and using that to look around. Oh, this looks rather good. Looks good enough, at least. Although I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing. So this must be the Prepper's Abandoned Cache. I need to... Huh. I need to do what exactly? There's a picnic area out to the left. But out to the right, if I follow it along... I might find a bear. <laughs> okay, how about we just go down? I think there might be something resembling a road if I just... Head on straight down. I suppose I could help you out with this. Wait, do we even have this map here? Did I bring Pleasant Valley over to um, over to the screen? Perhaps not, so there we go. Here's Pleasant Valley. This dark young mess you're me about right now. Probably nothing important. Right. Let's let's scale this down a whole lot so we can look at where we actually are. Hmm. So for that cache at the top there, I think I just want to head south-ish. There is some kind of Skeeter Ridge basement, but I really want to get down. Well, where the heck do I want to go here? I like Coastal Highway quite a lot. So actually, I'm going to head up the supposedly really nice farmhouse and Pleasant Valley Buildings area. Now that's a long trek. 
And it's through bear territory, both of which are probably very bad things. Even so, I'm going to head straight south and then turn right. That's my plan. Straight south, turn right. How bad could it be? Well, it could be a lot worse if I don't have anything to... Um... Oh, that's not what I want. I want to be warm, and I want to have a cup of tea on me. So I'm going to light this fire first. Drink tea, get warm. That should keep me warmer as I go along. Come on, little fire. Any ultimate goal to this game? Nope. Ah, survival mode is that. Just survive. There are some modes where there are goals, so survival is means to an end. But what I'm playing here is just pure survive. Oh god, what did I throw in there? I think I threw in all my good wood. I thought I was throwing in sticks. I could have sworn it clicked on sticks. Ah, crap. Well, at least it's going to be warm. Now, if it's going to be warm, let's at least make ourselves some... Uh... What can I cook in there? That's just warming up the tea, though, isn't it? Let's make a couple liters of water. Gee, it sure doesn't feel warm. That'll warm up in a bit. Although, do I have too much water? No, can never have too much water. Uh, I threw in all that and I'm not feeling very warm here. Come on. There we go. Well, as long as I didn't throw in my birch wood. Speaking of which, I don't have enough to make some birch wood... Uh, Birch bark, sadly. I need one more for it. However, at least condition is relatively stable. Don't need to worry about that too much. I just wasted a lot of good wood in here, and I can't just pull it out. I can pull it out as torches, though. Mm. Seven minutes, well, it's still a while until that, that water is good to go. I'm wasting a relatively clear time. I know it's snowing lightly, but at least there's no wind. Take about half an hour for that to be done, and then I load up on mat on um, torches. Go then. Say load up on torches. Yeah, I've got space to load up on torches. Or do I? These cooking pots are heavy. <laughs> oh well. We can handle it. Wait, did I just take unsafe water? Ah, crumbs. Um, oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. I want to cook up my teas. Or is that just another storm rolling on in? Losing your focus a bit there, clearly, clearly. Too excited at the prospect of actually living. That's a little heavy, but hopefully not too heavy. That stuff is almost good. And yeah, I'm gonna gonna drink the uh, rose hip and then just get moving. That's a nice one, right? Glug, glug, glug. That'll warm me right up, satiate me right up, give me enough calories to stop starving. And this one will save for Leighton. Now, let's go. I've already forgotten where I said I'd go, but I think it was just straight south and then right at the place with all the... Uh, when we hit the road. It's going to really blow if I get to a good point and I stop and I say, right, we'll continue this tomorrow. I load it up and just immediately die and it's Back to 1444, as they say. Uh, I want to curve a bit left or a bit right here. I feel a bit more confident taking it to the right because we're ultimately heading to the right. Jeez, I am pulling down fast. It's minus 30. So much for being pleasant. 
Might not survive getting to where I want to be. That's okay, we have a lot of condition to lose. And we've got a lot of sticks, if nothing else, to um, to warm ourselves up with. What is that over there? It's murderously cold in this place. Vehicles. Vehicles are nice. Especially if it's warm-ish inside it. Nothing at all. Is it warm enough in here to keep me alive? No, it's still really cold inside the vehicle. And there's nothing in it. I think my stomach is eating itself. Pop the hood so I know I've been in here. Rack around in the glove box. We're in Pleasant Valley, Meridian. There's nothing that pleasant about it. Can't see anything in the back seat. I see that corpse. Hopefully I remember it when I step out. Marine flare. Another get out of jail free card for starting fires or scaring off wolves. Jeez, we're really getting cold already. Chuck that other tea. Keep that temperature up. Ah. Corpsey, you're doing nothing for me. So where am I going from here? I was expecting a road. Maybe this is kind of a road. Yeah, it looks it. Alright then, I guess we're going this way. Uh -huh. Where the heck am I going along this way? Um, there should be some kind of undergroundish area, maybe, if I keep going this way. There's also going to be a bunch of wolves. And also some oh, one-way routing for a uh, Cabin. Hmm. Not great, but we'll have to go for it. Okay, wow. Pleasant Valley is unbelievably cold. Maybe I shouldn't be taking the long route here. And there's our frostbite risk, undoubtedly for our uncovered hands. But if I can just find, like, an actual building, I can tear down things for cloth and make some ramshackle cloth things. Keep the fire going because we know we're in Wolf Town. Better to use energy than waste heat by going too slow. Well, hopefully I don't snap my delicate little knees running around like that. Come on, it's not been that long since you were in the underground, keeping yourself nice and warm, Femshep. Right. That looks like a busted plane. And hopefully there's some nice clothes inside. Is it really worth checking out right now? Maybe, maybe there's something to warm myself up with in this old uh, busted shack thing. Or maybe there's nothing. Nothing is okay. Yeah, nothing is okay. Can't believe how quickly I got so cold out here. Can I open this door? Sweet. Is it warm ish in here? No. Can I start a fire in here? Oh, yeah, I can. I can. I can warm up in here, so I will. Oh, there's not much left of my torch. Cancel, cancel. How do I cancel? Oh, well, I have to hope this works then. Otherwise, I'm down at... Ah, oh, crumbs. Yeah, that torch is ruined. Crumbs. I thought I could cancel out of making a fire, but evidently not. Surely this isn't safe. Come on, 
little fire. Sadly, there's no tea left for me here, unless I can miraculously find some around this broken down plane. There we go. I feel bad about losing all of my uh, good wood earlier, so I'm just going to have to make do with this book and some sticks. Oh my god, it's still so cold in here. This might not actually do me any good. Come on, come on, I need heat. Give me lots of heat. Yeah, you do get better at making fire over time. Maybe if I close this. Come on, keep me warmer. Need to stave off hypothermia risk. Ah, there we go, there we go. Now, to rummel around here for goodies as I try to get a little warmer. Lower our weight as well. Still barely feels like heat. Come on, I need I need warmth. I should have made it more central in the plane because it doesn't take far away from it and we're immediately losing warmth. Oh wow, the range on that's minuscule. Feels like a staggering six degrees. Right, I'm going to eat something just to try and regain a little bit of condition. But yeah, I can't. I can't step away from that thing much at all. Anything to be had here? Oh, a wool toque. On, back we go, back we go. Damn. I'm freezing. I know, I heard you the first time. Oh, finally something resembling clothes. There we go. And that wool took is significantly warmer than our existing crappy thing. To the point where I want to tear it up for a bit of cloth just to uh, get a little closer to being able to warm my hands with something, but you never know, I might find something to warm my hands with around here. Gotta be something worth my time, right? Well, something else worth my time. Let's check. But actually, I will be a little warmer if I have a torch on me, although <laughs> not saying much, is it? This crappy torch, I'll just light up with this. Come on, what we have? What do we have? Oh, it's getting quite windy out there. I might be in. I might be in by this fire for a wee while, actually. Yeesh. Grim. I mean, am I, am I near anything that's going to keep me alive here? There's a basement nearby, but that doesn't appear to have anything to warm myself up with. So, uh... Well, it should get warmer as the day goes on. And hopefully this wind will let up. But I'd really like to explore more of these, uh, this broken down plane. I just wish I had something to drink to keep myself warmer. It is a bed. That might warm you. Hmm. Oh, it's a bit more than three and Darius. Condition loss in red for too cold. Oh, I got frostbite twice, and that's given me a permanent malice. Right, well, how about we take this crappy old ragged cotton toot and harvest it. At least we're getting kind of warm here. And now we have Almost enough to make some hand wraps. Almost. Positively balmy now. You gotta fight for everything you have around here. I'm gonna 
chow down on uh, another cattail stock just to stave off starvation. Still seems horrible out there. Is there anywhere to get some goodies or anything? Birch or... Uh, feels like minus 16, getting rapidly colder. I'm going to make a quick dash to check for things before I go back in and... Ooh, now that could be good. Uh, that is good. Where that? I shouldn't have hung, hung around outside to check that. That also looks good. P or anything? T ingredients? No, it doesn't look like it. Any more stuff scattered around? Also doesn't look like it. Back we stumble to that stumble to that fire. Oh, this thing is knackered. Eight, a point of three, point of three, or that. Well, at least I got something. <laughs> something beats nothing. But it's still cold as sin in here. You can make gloves now. You're right, I could tear that stuff up and make some gloves. It's going to feel really grim if I manage to find uh, some actual gloves, but... This worn dress shirt... Yeah, you're about to be harvested into one bit of cloth. Hey, we're getting we're getting nice and warm. The day is warming up a bit, and we're going to now craft ourselves some improvised hand things. It shouldn't take too long, and now that should really get rid of some of our frostbite risk. And now these things aren't going to be super warm, but beats nothing. Holy smokes, it doesn't sound like it's getting any better out there. It's almost midday, but uh, still chilly. And man, we, we wander just a little bit away from that fire, and we're no longer feeling so good. Uh, no, none of our clothes are wet. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to pack up and run across these, um... Uh, run across these broken bits of... plane. I wish the game wouldn't pause as I tab out and just try check in the map, seeing uh, what my options are. We can still dance between, I think, three different crashed bits of plane. But after that, we still need to... We need to make our way to... It's a long way to get to the farmhouse. Not a lot of options to stay warm along the way. So I need to really tank up on warmth. Mm. Oh well. Once the once the storm is done out there, it'll at least be the warmest time of day to do it. So I'm just going to hunker down here until it's uh, afternoon and I'm super warm. And since we're doing pretty much nothing else, may as well melt some snow. Not a lot of it. But enough to actually have something being done while we're here. And on the plus side, we do have a fair few sticks to throw on here if we're looking desperate. And hey, we can always throw the... Ooh, hey, I could read something, couldn't I? The angler, the field addressing your kill volume one. Want to eat, because if you start getting hungry in the middle of reading, you just forget everything that you were reading. So, let's have a gander, shall we?
Feel dress in your kill. Let's read it for one hour. Oh god, it's ten hours to read. And if you have to finish the whole thing to get the benefit of it. Oh well. It's going to be a pretty heavy pack if we don't get some sleep, and it's not sounding like good times out there. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah, I'm going to be stuck here for another long haul, aren't I? Well, actually, it doesn't feel as cold as it did before, but that, that windy snow does not make me want to go out in it. I'd rather hunker down for a little longer. Still another bit of time here. Demolish any busted uh, torches that we have. Can you sleep in these chairs? No. No, we cannot. This is not a sleeping spot. We can check between the chairs in case we missed anything. Is this really a danger of um, snapping my little legs area. It's showing that it is. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything between the seats, sadly. I've already checked all the overhead stuff, but there are still two other plane wreckages to check out here. I just really want to... Wait, there's a frozen corpse there? Apparently. Okay, nothing nothing for it, but... Yeah, are we sure it's a corpse? It's just jelly underneath there, surely? No, there's no meta... Well, the meta pro uh, progression is in the feats that you get for accomplishing a certain amount of tasks, like starting X amount of fires or completing certain challenges, but who uses feats? Who takes a difficult game and goes, oh, I want to use these things to make it easy? Or easier. Nah, cockpit's closed. Well, I only half-heartedly tried it earlier. But no, cockpit's closed. Come on, Snow, it's time to stop being so blustery. I want to go out there, you know. Right, tell you what, I'm going to shove on a couple of sticks. I'm going to read for another hour. Okay, that looks a lot less intimidating. Still snowing, but it's not windy snowing, so let's go. Hey, okay, right. Still kind of cold, but hey. Only feels like minus seven. How that's getting hypothermic is beyond me. I'm pretty tired, though. Eyes peeled for anything lootable. Suitcases, corpses, worn jeans. Worn jeans. There's room for two sets of clothes on our corpse. Check locker, check locker. Look around. Did I already check you? Nope. Almost heat neutral. Yeah, at the warmest time of day, carrying a torch, we're almost heat neutral. Still not. But yeah, we gotta make hay while this sun is shining. Uh, huh. Forgive me for expecting a little more than this. But it might be that I'm just overlooking a lot of potential bits. Decent wool socks, you say? Ooh, toasty. Just sliding right into some dead person's socks. Ooh, it's grim. A worn dress shirt, probably not better than what I already have, and it's not worth the time to check right now. 
Plaid shirt, on the other hand, sounds, you know, if it's plaid, it must be Canadian and good. So I'm actually going to wear that. Did one of the characters in Empty look bugged out there for a moment? Again, don't really have the time or inclination to be checking. I saw a corpse here. There you are. Nothing for it. Is there any more of these things to check? Or do we check everything? Right, assuming that's everything, and it might not be, I wish to go... Hmm... Hmm... Down the ways? Down the ways? Oh. There's a draft dodging cab or a cabin, but I think I can walk along the the river. That's one way, so we are going this way. It's only minus five. And that's including the dreaded wind chill. We're on easy street now, folks. Minus 14 this morning, and a blizzard here in Canada this morning. Here in Canada. Imagine. Oh, hello. Nice looking cave. Also, tea! Mmm. Oh, a good bit of tea would go a long way. I am sorely tempted just to make some for the hell of it. However... Oh, crap. Quick, 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 quick. No time for messing around. However, I don't really want to waste time because it's such good conditions out. I need to make my way to where I want to be, although... Mm, that's actually a bed. We can't sleep on rock, but we can certainly sleep on... What is that? A bunch of leaves on rock? Whatever it is, it's not very convincingly nice. Hey, we're even warm inside there. We'd be heat positive um, sleeping in there. Even so, I'm going to hold out till we get to the farmhouse and sleep there if I can. Hopefully there's a bed there. I didn't double check. Ah oh, well, live dangerously. Odd birch trees. Sadly, no birch bark. Come on, it's a survival situation. Surely we'd have, we should have no problem stripping birch bark. It damages the tree, but, you know, it helps me. the starvation. Oh, I heard a not very nice sound. It sounded like wind whipping up. It really sucks having that... Um... Oh, hello. Now this guy's probably going to laugh at the idea of me saying that anything sucks, but I was going to say it really sucks having the frostbite, just because it's a constant reminder of not having been able to protect ourselves, That hurts more than the health loss. And just knowing that it's permanent is just yeah, so sad. How's the run going? The bars don't look so bad. Well, they're still bad, but not so bad. You're right. Even though we're in Pleasant Valley, we've got a good time of day. We've got good warm clothes, thanks to uh, all the people that died in that plane crash. And there's the river that I want to cross to get over to the uh, farmhouse. And once I'm at the farmhouse, I'm actually at somewhere that I'm vaguely familiar with. As in, I've been there once or twice. I don't think that's going to help much, but at least it'll feel good. Hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? Possibility for a fire. No, no, that's not a fire barrel. That's just a barrel barrel. I will be taking your wooden stuff, though. Anything else? Anything else? No sunshine, no. Oh, birch bark. Now that is something else. 
Sadly, just two of them. Three would have been ideal, so that I could make two bits of birch bark tea. Now, from here, um, I don't think I can quite cross over. If I head to the... Oh, do I go right then left or left then right? Difficult choice. But if I go left, I might stop in by the draft, uh, draft dodging coffin and then cross over. But I'm definitely going to that farmland, uh, farm place afterwards. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Yeah, you might warm up over there a wee touch as well. Maybe. I'm gonna take the opportunity to grab a few of these because it'll make me feel better about myself. The farm does have a bed, I believe. I hope it does. It'd be very funny if it doesn't. I should really check that. Farmhouse and basement has bed. Oh, I can hear that wind starting to whip up, though. The wind is not my ally today. If it's warm-ish inside the place I'm going to, it might be worth sleeping in. Just because I'm getting really tired and still a little bit cold. What a difference actually having some clothes makes, though. Jings! All that time running around practically naked. Oh, not good for us. What are they farming here? Snow carrots? Well, I imagine it's not like this year round. There are farms in Scotland, you know. Scotland's a cold and miserable place. And there's some really hardy root vegetables. Maybe some good cabbages or carrots. Wait, is that the draft dodging hut? I will be dodging much of anything in there. Hi, Neeps. Neeps for your haggis and your tatties. Hang on, that's pretty good. There's mushrooms. Hold out for me, draft dodging cabin, because I would love to have the makings for more soup. There's something weird going on with the, the grabbing thing there every now and then. tired of this, but thankfully with all these layers I should be relatively warm inside the draft dodging cabin. In fact, just generally being indoors now might be enough to so generally hungry. keep me alive. Oh, sweet. It's a good day for tea making. Well, a better day. Let's get in there. Ah, we're heat positive by five degrees, which is quite a lot. So we should actually be able to sleep through the night here. And maybe even pass the time getting there. I think I can put this out, but I'll use it till it's done. I might smash some crates and stuff, and then go to sleep. Need a hatchet to break down the chair, much as I'd like to take it for all it's worth. Oh, curtains as well, so I can get some cloth. Oh, we've been waiting on cloth a long time, that's for sure. <laughs> There's nothing in here. <laughs> okay, well, we're up to smash things up to get what we want. And we will smash things up to get what we want. Okay, right. Enough out of you, then. Out two cloth for tearing that down, and I'll be tearing that down. So, 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 so. Healed our hypothermic risk. We are, of course, starving. I am going to start by getting rid of my ruined torches for six. I'm going to tear down these curtains for cloth. I'm going to smash the wooden things for wood. And then I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to do all this smashing whilst I... Ugh, a litre of unsafe water. Just ditch that. I hate carrying around unsafe water. Yeah, we're going to rip everything up here that we can and then go to sleep. Because boy, do I want some cloth. I would actually like to try repairing the clothes that I have using this cloth. And we'll do that until we can do no more. Hope this doesn't reduce the temperature in here. It's four degrees right now. 
Still four degrees. Guess I'll smash this crate with this hammer just to get a bit of extra wood. It's good to do it whilst I have no calories anyway, because otherwise it would cost me the calories. I, I could smash the bench with my hammer. <laughs> it's quite funny. I mean, it would take 45 minutes. I'm not sure I have 45 minutes to be smashing benches with... Oh, go for it. Doesn't know what hit it. Now... What's my best thing? What's going to get me some really good returns if I repair it? Kooks are really warm, so I think I'm actually going to try to repair this thing. 70% repair skill. All right. Do your best. Hmm? Did I get some reason that I couldn't do it? I'm too thirsty to do it? Oh, there's another load of curtains for me to rip apart, aren't there? Uh, but really, can I not repair those things? So this very damaged toque, I want to repair it with my sewing kit. Yeah, there we go. 70% chance of success. Yay! Wow, now it's super toasty, although it's getting super cold out there. Let's tear down more curtains. Even without the curtains, it's net warm in here. Now... Is there anything else worth our time repairing? This ragged light shell's a bit ragged for sure. But these thermal undies are surely worth repairing, right? A lot of heat on thermal undies, and I have space for a spare one, so even if I find another, it wouldn't be replacing. I'll give it a go. Nice. No need to see what we're doing. Hey, this is looking rather good for a bit. Now we're going to eat, and we need to recover condition as we sleep. So, time for those uh, cattails we've been harvesting for a while to come into play. Yeah, we do a good job at, uh, at that for a guy that has no fingers, or a lassie with no fingers, rather. Yum, 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 yum. And another, fully satiate on water, and we're going to sleep for 10 hours. And this is going to repair us immensely on everything, apart from food. The blue barn clothes means that they're wet, so hopefully they'll dry out as we sleep. Oh, well, that's a good heat bonus in here. Mmm, oh, I feel untouchable. It's not quite light out yet. But we got all of our condition back, up to 90%. Not quite 100 because of our missing fingers. Actually, I think it's only 80%. How much do you lose when you're, uh, you're injured like that? Right, anything to do while we're still here? It sounds windy outside still. Oh, ooh, 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 cool. But at least with that, we know that the door is here-ish. Looks rather nice. Oh, auroras. Auroras are dangerous. Aurora animals can spawn, and they don't give a hoot about... Um... They don't give a hood about you or fire. Should we just go for it? Uh, a little scary, but I think we're just gonna go for it. At least down to the barn, because then we could uh, we could rest up and get warm and stuff over there. No, you're right. We're not a coward. Better remember that that's there, though. Am I going the right way? Probably. Am I over-encumbered? Probably a little bit. 
Look at my heat just immediately sapping away on this clear night, but gosh, is it beautiful. Does it really look like this? We don't have a fire, but I'm not afraid of that. I mean, the fire wouldn't ward off animals anyway. We're going to run because uh, the heat is more important than tiredness now. We're going to beds after all. Already complaining about how cold it is. Does she know to do anything other than complain? These are the people in Frostpunk that say, Hey, we're cold. Could you please magically make it and warm in our tents in minus 50? I hope this doesn't break when I walk on it. Okay, at least the game is kind enough to warn you when the water is about to sh or the ice is about to shatter under your feet. Again with the freaking moaning. Oh man, you can see for miles in the aurora. Eyes peeled for predators, but I think I want to head over there. He quickly checks his map. Is it over there? Or is it over there? I think that's the barn, actually. God knows what's over there. Might just be rocks for all I know. Right, pick up the pace. We'll get there. We'll start a fire. And we'll lose everything that isn't nailed down. Look at this stuff, man. Should we just stop complaining? This would be wonderful. <laughs> Makes dying not seem so bad. There is actually an option to turn off your character talking, and I can see how that'd be more immersive, but I'm here to listen to Commander Jane Shepard. We lost a lot of our awakeness just coming over here, James. Yeah, there's orange up on that hill. I wonder what's up with that. Oh, hello! I could do with your painkillers, laddie. They're not going to help you where you are. Nice peeled folks. Jings, I, I would just crawl inside one of these hay bales to stay warm. But that's the proper barn. I knew there were some burnt out ones, but I seem to recall there being an actual barn. You know, something I'd want to go into. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Jeez, now I don't know where I am. Maybe I should have paid more attention when I said, Oh, you can see for miles. Because now I don't know which direction the proper barn is. Maybe that's it over there? There's something there. Glad there's no predators. No, I think that's just a very large stack of hay bales. Which, as we are finding out, will not help us where we are. Power poles, though, that's got to be a good sign. There's definitely got to be power run into the barn. Or the farmhouse. Hey, that's it over there. Are the auroras really rare? I mean, we're on day four, or day five, and we've found one. Day five. Oh, crikey, here comes the wind. we got to get in. Ah! You'd think this... Oh, cripes. Oh, cripes. Right, I'm having this handy in case he gets any funny ideas. And he is getting some funny ideas. You want some of this sunshine? I assure you, you do not. Check all this stuff when the conditions are better. For now, let's get indoors.
Oh, he's after me. He is a hungry pupper. And I'm a want-to-be-alive guy, so... Bye. And although it's warm enough here, we can use this flare to light. And I'm pretty sure there is something to light in here. Um, you. Start a fire with a lit flare using the cattail thing and a bit of stick. No, we can't set fire to the hay. Come on, little fire. Oh, jeez, yeah, come on. Work. Right, tell you what. Hopefully I can nick yeah. that to the ground. I can light a regular torch off of it. We just got it. Okay, and let's start ourselves a new fire. Don't want to waste matches. They are limited. Once they're gone, they're gone. Come on, little fire. Come on. Landed. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Right, well, I have all this crappy reclaimed wood. I might as well throw it on. Because I would quite like to make some water. Should be space for a liter here and a half liter here. And then once I'm done looking around this place, I'm going to make uh, some tea. And there should be plenty to look around here. Now that doesn't mean that there's going to be plenty to collect, it just means that there's plenty possibilities to collect. I really n oh stem oh that can really save your bacon. It's kind of like having an extra life. It's like oh I'm dead. Wait no, I've got a stem. I can keep going. And not only keep going, you can just run for days, and you get fifteen percent health back. Yeah 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 yeah. Get out of here. Anything under the table? No. Hey, look, a body. Jake's, like, cutting it close. I like to think that's in response to the body message. Could smash these crates with my hammer if I really wanted to feel like a big man. But we already smashed up the entire uh, building earlier, so maybe we should call Canny a bit. I realize I say it often, and it's probably not a phrase most people hear, but call Canny just means calm down. Rein yourself in a bit. Contain thyself. <clears throat> Now, no matter how many stim packs we find, we're never going to replace our lost fingers. Make anything on this workbench? It doesn't look like it. Ooh, cured guts is rather nice. I don't know if that makes you smell at all. A whetstone, if I ever get a knife, that'll be useful. However, there was precious little in here. Still, it's just generally good to be in here and stay away from that uh, horrible wind. And there is a bunch of stuff I want to explore around here, but I want to have a torch on me to keep the wolves at bay, if nothing else. So right now, I'm going to focus on making some tea, keeping myself warm. I'm even going to get a little bit of condition back by chewing on this cat tail. Oh jeez, it is so late, I'm still going. That's fine, such as what happens when you have an actual run going. Right, nothing to cook, so as long as we have some fuel here, I can make some rose, ooh, some birch bark is nice, but rose hips for now. Fire indoors, not good. We wouldn't be fussy in this condition. Cook that. You're still chavin' a lot, so we cook some more. Can you make a bow? I could make a bow if I had a lot of guts and some other things. I've never actually made a bow, so I don't know how it works in this game entirely. We cook that. Prepare some more teas. 
Yeah, I have some guts, but I think you need more than just some guts. We can check. Once we have this stuff boiling away. Are we on water? Two litres or so. Gonna drink some. I'm gonna make even more water. Just a half litre. And let's keep that thing going because we still hear the, the sound of... Sounds of the snow and that outside. Wow, I can make a whole bunch of these. Cool. It's so late, Jake, that I slept to the board and it's morning now. <laughs> oh, lucky you. I'm sure it was a good night's sleep. Alright. Still going, still going, and so too shall I. There we go, that's plenty of teas for me, and it sounds like it's calmed down outside, so once this tea is ready, we shall just grab a um, grab a torch and check out the area. And a quick reminder of what's even in this area. There's a few smashed up things, but otherwise I generally want to head... Well, actually, there's a question. Let's bring up the map of where we are. Pleasant Valley. Uh, that's not a very good idea of where we are. We're more down that area. Let's just trim this away. And even make it bigger. So, I'm uh, I'm over there by the barn, but as you notice, down to the bottom right, there's some really nice buildings. So I might head over to the west, to the farmhouse and basement, and then down over to the community hall. And then I can do Coastal Highway, and I like Coastal Highway and what it brings. So, hmm... But maybe I'll save the farmhouse for later and make my way to Coastal Highway. Meaning, yeah, meaning I'm going to do all the Pleasant Valley stuff. So I'll go to Pleasant Valley, I'll loot it, I'll save there, and then we can look forward to Coastal Highway next time. Sounds like a plan. Potentially even a good plan. Make the farmhouse a base, unload stuff that you don't need to carry all the time. Uh, I might, I'll probably unload stuff that I don't think I'm going to need at Coastal Highway over in the community town area. I don't know what that would m include, but I'll try to make a decent call. <laughs> I'll try, probably fail. Kind of surprised at how little there was to loot here, but it's just how it goes sometimes. Oh, 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 I see that, but dusting sulfur isn't going to help me. Don't need gunpowder for bullets. Sorry, all the Americans watching. But interloper means no handgun. Also means no rifle. If you want to shoot something, you've got to use the limited number of uh, flare gun shells that there are. I don't think there's any way to get additional ones. Not even through beachcombing, I think. God, why am I so slow? I think it's because I'm going into the wind, right? I didn't think the wind would be that bad. I do want to check over there, though. Actually, I need to think. There's those barns and the barn there. Where are they all relative to each other? If there's three and there's that there, then I want to... There's these three and that, and then there should be something in that general direction. Although I'm so unsure about what I even just said that I'm going to be double-checking it. Hey, dog food! And that is all. Oh well. I think my best bet... Is that a wolf? I can't tell if that's a wolf or not, but I'm double checking to see where the car is. There's a car over there, but sod the car. We're gonna go this way across this bridge and it should take us over to... Um, should take us generally over to the nice area that I'm trying to get to. I say nice, it's still bollocking cold. I can see why they made this place so cold, because it's a relatively friendly place. I mean, it's quite flat. You're not going to get... Um, you're not going to get ambushed out of nowhere, oh. assumedly. So it needed some downside. And I suppose being such a flat clearing, it would make sense that 
There's nothing to protect this place from the cold, cold winds. Even so, along we go. I don't mind starvation, because I should get a lot of condition back when we reach the destination. What do you mean, no gums? I remember clearly one guy doing interloper, and he did it with a smile. You've lost me, Jared. Well, I'm quite certain there are no guns on Interloper, but that's just what I've read. It's not like I'm experienced in this. Oh, I'm about to be very ill-experienced if that wolf gets its way with me. Maybe let's pick up the pace. I'm not even going to drink one of my teas. I'm so confident that we're going to get there in reasonable time. The SMLE, a short magazine Lee Enfield. That's the rifle in this game. I prefer Smile. That snow sounds so good underfoot. That's really how snow sounds when you walk on it, and it's just so... Mm. It would make me uh, really happy for winter if it weren't actively winter right now. Hell, I was going to go shopping today. I really wanted some walnut bread. I was all poised to head out, but man, it was grim outside, so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make some soup after playing The Long Dark. That'll feel good. Come on, crappy torch. Oh. Wow, I've been using crappy torches for so long, I've got nothing but good torches. Well, relatively good torches. I hope I'm going the right way. Wouldn't it be really funny if this actually did take me where I was planning on going? Pretty sure it's fine. I can even see some power cables in the distance. Also, let's save some stamina in case we get blindsided by some wolves. How cold does Stockholm get? It's not very cold. It doesn't have that cold Atlantic wind coming in here. It's, it's shielded by Norway. And on top of that... You don't feel so cold here because they actually know how to build buildings. In the UK, we just haven't ever really understood how to build buildings that aren't terrible. So even if you're indoors, you always feel that rising damp coldness. Okay, this kind of looks like civilization just beyond this rock. Hey, there we go. Houses, a community hall, manufactured goods, a dog house with no dog food. Oh, and no dog, which is probably good for us. Now we can get out of here, or get out of this cold rather, and start looting. Ah, and it's a great time of day. I don't even need this fire on me. I'm not even sure if I'll keep it or not, but I'll just rack around for things. I'm even going to eat to... Re no, I won't eat to restore condition. Since we're not cold, it won't be too much of an issue. There we go. Right. There's a good reason Interloper doesn't start you in horribly... Uh, in places like this, because you could just go into these places and start looting for food and clothes and rip things apart for cloth. It wants you to start in those horrible locations where you don't know where to go, there's barely any buildings, barely any shelter, you gotta crawl around caves, and I really appreciate that about the game. Well, on this mode at least. I'm not gonna start a fire. I'm a little tempted to smash up these people's chairs, but I won't. I will keep a fire burning though, because I have a lot of torches and I don't want to waste a match. Torches are cheap, matches are not. Torches are heavy, matches are not. And since I've already torn down a load of other people's um, curtains, I won't do it here. But I will remember that I can, and they better remember that too. If my trousers aren't safe from bears, your curtains aren't safe from me. Because I need replacement trousers. Even so, I'm still using my crappiest torches, even if they're really good. No, this isn't the, mo the mode where the monster is chasing you. If it were, it would be 
uh, night time and yet somewhat bright outside at all times. Only 10 minutes to tear that apart. Ooh, free water as well. Uh, how am I doing on water? I've got quite a bit, but I'm going to chug some. Well, looks like I'm chugging all of it. And then I'm going to take some Toilet Genie water. Toilet water is uh, potable. Well, maybe some countries don't use potable water for it. Once upon a time, it's my job. Not to uh, stick my hands down people's toilets to steal their water, but uh, to check out water systems in various places. Some were shocking. <laughs> Saw a dentist with a uh, cold water storage tank that was utterly infested with mold. That was grim. Right, the last place I think I'll do is the community hall, which I think is that building. So we're going to go up and down and check these first. Because we can sleep quite handily in the community hall. Eyes peeled for anything good. Newspaper isn't good, so to say, but... Bandage is alright. Otherwise I'd waste cloth to make some. My fingers feel numb. Yeah, fortunately I never found any dead pigeons in anything. Oh, I want that. That book. Because I can burn it, but I can't reach it from there. Maybe you need to reach it from the back seats. It's even warm inside the... Um, You're not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. It's even warm inside the car, which is rather nice. Oh, can I pop the... Ah, uh, I don't have a pry bar. In a... In another life, we had a pry bar. Why call it a pry bar, though? Is that what the Canadians call it? Because to me, it should say crowbar. There is a lot of finding nothing when looting locations like this, though. Which is another good reason that uh, you don't start here in Interloper. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I'm definitely eating that before bed. Someone must have left in a hurry. Let's see, what was that? Some cooked fresh venison, 100%, so it's not going to make us queasy. Rye bars are tiny nail grabbers, the crowbars are full size. Ah. Something I like about uh, people here. There's always someone that knows something. Of course, there's always someone that knows too much, but take what you can get. You know what? Why am I even carrying this thing around? Uh, no, no, we should. We should. We really should. I was having a second thought about it, but I've changed my mind. I will keep this going. I really do like the extra light. It helps me see things around here. And it's going to save us a match when we... Um, when we set up our fire, wherever we go. A few lost torches is no biggie. We'll get it all back with a simple bit of fur firewood, of which I'm sure we'll have. Oh, last resort tinnies. Except it's a, there's a tin, of, tin of fish there, right? Not a tinner. This I quite like. I feel so devilish. Why is there not a game out there which is just about being devilish? Going around committing very petty crimes. Talking people into doing bad things. Just generally being a nuisance. Oh, crikey. Have we checked this place already? No, I haven't checked this room. During an aurora, I've heard that... I'll take, it. I'll take that. If nothing else, I can tear it up for cotton. I've heard you can listen to stuff on the radio during an aurora. Come on, everyone keeps an emergency tin of food under the bed. I guess they had an emergency and had to eat it. I play my games to escape my real life Jake who needs games like that. It's funny because uh, at first reading I heard that I, I play games to escape the real life Jake. Wow, this was a bust. This place is... Well, no, we haven't checked the first aid kit yet. 
A huge bust. Nice bed, but that's not going to help us where we're going. There's already a bed where we're going. Oh, now I've seen some Disco Elysium. Looks pretty terrible. Or at least certainly not for me. We're moving really slowly now because we are so full of items, but don't worry. We're almost done looting these places, and it's back to the community hall. There's some other places, other minor places to check out around here. You can get there soon enough. Some holy water. Book, book, cloth. Uh, it only takes six minutes to grab that cloth, which is pretty good. You know what, just, just take it. There's six minutes is no time in this game. Oh boy, it was time. Woo! Uh, these books are starting to weigh a ton. This game's going to put a curse on me for burning all this holy text. But what can I say? The good lord helps those who help themselves. Way too encumbered to sprint. How are we? We're 45 out of 18. I'm surprised we can even still move. Oh, hello. I spy a toque. Didn't say ragged or anything either. Gonna break my back, clearly. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'll head over to the community hall then just to ditch some stuff. Because look at how slow we are now. There isn't a fair bit of condition to hunger though, but we'll get it back from a good night's sleep. If a bear would appear, it would in fact be our end. Yeah, I don't think a bear would be here, though. Besides, we'd hear it, surely. Surely. You faded in long dark. The reason broke your back from carrying too much loot. <laughs> sounds, sounds very believable for me. Huh? Okay, that doesn't seem enterable or openable, but hey, in we go. Let's continue to warm up. There should be a good chest to dump our stuff in. I'm going to loot this place last. There was still another place I wanted to check out. Hey, a cooking pot. I shouldn't have dragged it all the way over here. Right. Come on. Let's dump a whole load of... Dump a whole lot of stuff. Dump, uh, dump the charcoal... Dump all the cloth, dump that, 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 that. I mean, really, we're just dumping damn near everything as long as we don't have it equipped. I can triage this stuff later. Definitely the hammer. I'm not going to be smashing things up right now. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, that torch is still good for now. Painkillers don't really weigh anything. Cups of tea don't really weigh anything. I don't need a storm lantern here, or this warm sweater, or this food. Actually, it's a good way to check it out here. Cat tail heads, get rid of those. Books, books. Wow, I got seven kilos of sticks. Just throw that in the ground as well. Scroll through this thing faster now. Ain't that nice. And, hey, this thing's almost full. You actually can't can't keep ditching stuff here? How about this metal container? Oh, lucky day. So that was lucky, but I still want to store stuff in it. Um, guess I'll store my cups of tea in it for now. Any clothes that I'm not wearing can go in there for now. Tools. These stones. Uh... 
Marine Flare, Whetstone. Oh, I need to drop that fresh wolf pelt. It's got pretty low condition, doesn't it? And it's a long way to cure. Anyway, I, on the other hand, have a lot of free space, so we're going to go and loot that last place. Wow, Baron, you know how to break my heart. We're doing fine. We've made it to somewhere that, although it isn't civilization now, it once was. Too tired to run now. Anything in this boat? That looks like a no. Always cattails, though. Mm mm. Cattails. feather. Now, if the crows are around here, that means there's a corpse. Where's the... Co oh, hello. Jinx, how could you die out here with all these places around? Maybe you got mauled by wolves or something? Or really drunk on this bench? Hang on, there's another house down there. Now that I didn't know. It looks boarded up, though. Yeah, that's boarded up. And that is a wolf. Try our luck, shall we? So I think this is the last place to check other than the community hall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought this was going to be someone's home. It doesn't look very homey, does it? nice. Those tooks are good. There's a store across the road from the community hall. Yes, there is, isn't there? I forgot about that. Just a reminder. Hello? Oh, spray paint. Well, I'll take it just so I can ditch it. Anything in the trash? Oh, can't even check the trash bin. You know, if I recall well, there's wolves around that store. Well, whatever, the wolves will be coyed by my fire. Which I just throw on the ground as if I'm trying to make a statement. Don't worry about all the condition loss, we're going to sleep it all back. Wolves just there as if to assure me that I'm correct. Who puts a leaf on their flag? <laughs> uh, anything outside here before we go inside? A vending machine outside your shop. Again, no pry bar for the uh, the boot. Open the hood just to show that I have checked this car. Uh oh, crumbs, I didn't mean to go there. Oh wow, that, that ATM should have been looted silly by now. You can find Canadian money, and just like in real life, it's useless except for burning. Oh, matches, nice. There are a limited amount of matches in the world, but I'd rather have them than not. Lantern fuel, sewing kit, this is good. Of course, let's rack around here for some handy. arrowheads. Or lantern fuel. Stump remover, I didn't even want it, but I, whoops, I didn't think that was an exit. Uh, that said though, I think we've already looted this kind of crummy place clean. Well, not that crummy. 
had plenty of lantern oil, and it had the laptop, which I'd like to take, but... No, it's not up to spec for a hardcore gaming career. Alright. I gotta say, aside from the double frostbite that we got, which does feel really bad, uh, this has been particularly successful. Of course, death is always waiting for you around any corner, so let's not count our chickens. We are going to come in here. I am going to take back uh, all my cattail heads, I guess. And my wood or something. And some sticks. I'll just give me all my sticks. Doesn't really matter if I'm walking around pretty slowly here. What matters is we turn on this stove. A cattail, a bit of a stick, start that fire. No items do not respawn in houses, manufactured goods, and plants. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. Things that respawn are, what, uh, stones maybe? Sticks, things can turn up on beaches, wildlife. Perfect. So basically, you're going to have to transition to a hunter-gatherer, whether you like it or not. Right, let's start cooking up a fat stack of water, because it couldn't hurt to have. Where am I? Where are you? Give me that and that. There are other things to figure out, but I'll figure out later. For now, I just want to make sure that I'm cooking up all the water that I can. Reclaimed wood kind of sucks, so I might as well throw all that in, and... No good reason not to do extra water in the cans as well. So there we go, we'll have plenty to drink, and whilst that's burning away, and as the sun is slowly setting, we will rake around for anything else worth our time here. Sinew, I've got one cured gut, and I need more for a arrow. How do you make bow and arrow? We certainly have arrowheads, but a survival bow requires two cured guts and a maple sapling. Well, we have one cured gut. Unfortunately, it takes a long time to cure those things, but I feel a little bit more confident about being able to exert our will on the world now. Time was the farmhouse was the base of choice, but the community centre has definitely dethroned it. Yeah, I mean, it's warm in here. It's got that six-hob sto uh, six stove. And it's near some pretty sweet places. I guess the only real downside is that Pleasant Valley is extremely cold. And maybe this isn't the best place to go hunting? I don't know. Oh, Always go hunting for maple syrup. How do you level up by doing things? Fishing, or reading about fishing, will level up fishing. Same with gutting creatures, um, cooking food, starting fires, and it is slow going. Mmm, more maple syrup. What's your opinion on using skill books? I don't really have an opinion. There's something you can use if you have nothing better to do. Jeez, it is roasting in here. I'd be finding it too hot. 20 degrees indoors? Oof. That pelt will take forever to uh, to dry out, but it will dry out. We're starving and we're delirious with tiredness, but that's okay. It's going to make sleeping feel so good. Var so good. I've got all these curtains I can tear down if I need cloth as well. Same with the other houses. Yeah, it's a good place to be. Painkillers. Uh, I'm going to leave the toilet water in there in case... Well, there's not much point in taking that when I have all this water that's uh, being cooked away for me. I wonder if it ever gets so cold that you actually need the fire going on in here whilst you, um, you sleep. 
That just seems so unlikely. Oh, not seeing anything worth our while. I'm pretty sure there's some thing that you can open down here. Yeah, a cabinet. Or nothing. And I think with that we have emptied and cleaned. It's possible I've missed something. Get the water, get the water. Uh, make more water. Actually, can I be making any of Rishi mushrooms? Yes, I can. So we'll do a bit of that. And we'll cook those up so we have some lovely tea. One hour until it's boiled. There's an hour and a half in there. Oh, how could I miss that tin of sardines? Now, I should probably start moving things around. So, for example, in this fridge, I should probably store all this food. It'll make it easier to keep an eye on. So let's just grab everything and start triaging a bit better. So what's going, what's going in here? Like all these books, for one. All these arrowheads. I can always come back and deal with those, can't I? Maybe. It'll be easier to move the food, because food is easier to tell. Yeah, I have some meat on me, but I'm going to eat that before, um, before sleep time. Dog food, dog food, dog food. In fact, I can just sort by food, can't I? Crisps. I'm going to eat these crisps because they're getting a bit moldy. Maple syrup, maple syrup, peaches, that, that. And uh, let's just transfer all that over. Got the Rishi tea. 40 odd minutes until that's good. Alright, so that looks pretty good. You know what, actually? Water can go in the freezer. I don't know. I hear there's condition loss and storing stuff and probably metas for dealing with that, but I don't know what it all is. I should also take some time to sort out my clothes, wear the best of everything. Yeah, that's pretty much as good as it gets. I like this ragged shell, but surely the windbreaker is... What is even the stats I'm looking at here? Protection, sprint speed... Surely the ragged light shell is better to be wearing. Thin wool sweater and plaid shirt, surely the best. A crappy hand wraps. Wool socks, sports socks. Oh no, I, I want my wool socks. They're better at lower, um, lower condition. So any clothes that I'm not wearing, I should probably just chuck in here. So that's you, 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 and you. I wonder if this stuff loses condition in here. It would be mad if it did, but it might. I like my cattails, but surely nobody needs that many of them. So bye-bye, 20 of you. Get rid of this firewood. There's surely going to be more firewood and more sticks where I'm going. I wish it was easier than just clicking on these one at a time. I'll just get rid of the skill books. They're, they're way too much for what they do. And I will deposit some matches here. There's no way I need that many matches, even if they're nice and light. Still boiling away. And I'm still pretty heavy. Heavier than I want to be. Keep the cured guts here. Um, I like accelerant. I should take one with me just in case I need to time waste, but it's half a kilo, isn't it? Oh, no, no, thank you. Even so, I'm going to take the. Mm, yeah, I guess I will. You never know when you just need to pass time by reading. And what about all these tools? I want the heavy hammer with me. I think it's good for smashing things. I like my marine flares, but I'll just keep one on me. Deposit some extra sewing kits. Deposit the whetstone, because I have no use for it right now. 
And now I'm at 22, and I'm going to start going for well-fed, I think. Although I'm sure I've said that before. Take another set of clothes so you can properly dress your kill once you've learnt how to. I'm sure we can make some as we go. And I should be able to refill my lantern with fuel. I did take it out, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, refuel that up. Huzzah. That might be a bit much, honestly, but... We're almost good to carbo-load. Of course, I want to take one cooking pot with me. Two is probably overkill, so I'll leave the others here. And now it's time to eat and sleep. Although I should also mangle my torches while I can. So, 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 so. Kind of wishing I'd taken out more nice torches, but I can always worry about that later. For now, though, harvest these down to sticks. Why keep dead torches? Because I can turn them back into sticks. It only takes two minutes of game time, which is practically nothing. Right, now I just need to drink lots. I already threw away all my water, didn't I? No, no, I kept that water on me. Six whole litres of the stuff. Anyway, I'm going to chow down. First on this old bag of crisps. Hopefully it doesn't make me sick. It could, and that would really blow. And the then... Pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Some lovely venison. And these cat tails. And although I'm really not... I'm not covered in food. I do really want to go for well-fed. It's an extra five kilos of carry capacity and some bonus health, which will help mitigate the horrible losses that I had. Tell you what, it's probably faster to eat from this menu. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Starting to wish I'd eaten maple syrup instead. Don't know how fast the stuff I've left behind is going to go off in that fridge that doesn't work. Alright, just chug loads of water. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And now we sleep for 10 hours. Oh, I think we had an aurora through the night. That explains all the buzzing. And now we can chug yet more water. And huzzah! We have got full health, aside from our frostbite, which was a crying shame. But the very fact that we've survived uh, into day six, despite starting in Ash Canyon and getting lost and circling back around to where we started in Ash Canyon, we've made it. We've got some half-decent clothes. We've got a little bit of food here. We've even started on guts and pelts, so there's a long way to go. The next stop is heading across the coastal highway. Finding ourselves a forge, hopefully some metal as well, and uh, hopefully making our way towards getting a bow, hunting and becoming that hunter-gatherer. But of course, it could still all go peat tong from here, so let's just hope that it doesn't. Um, and we'll continue this probably tomorrow, because I'm this game's really got its claws in me, as you can tell, because it's 1am. Um, so until I am back with more of this, it is a cheers and a cheerio.